apparently
Fleet made it down here, and they're 2-2, two and 0-1 two, oh and in the league. Logan, 4-1, 2-0 oh in the league. We'll see uh, what Swick, usually a very competitive team. We were watching them warm up, though, and we're thinking, this doesn't look like the same team. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, usually a physical team, uh, but looking on the uh, stat sheet, they seem a little bit more like uh, shooters this time around. Uh, they like to shoot the three. They like to try to get it done kind of uh, on the fadeaways and such. So we'll see just how well they match up against Logan. But, uh, no, definitely a different looks Wick team here tonight. Yeah, it does. They've got uh, one big guy, and uh, appropriately he's named Adonis, Adonis Humphreys. He went out and uh, was in the center jump circle along with the Jamarion Sharp as the captains met, or excuse me, Xavier Ball as the captains met. Logan plays tonight. Going to be, you know, that, that's the one good thing about having – freshmen or guys that come in from other programs yeah. is they don't look ahead because I'm already looking ahead to Wednesday night because know, Logan's yeah. going to Vincennes for the big rematch from a year ago. And uh, that's, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to, to look past that, but Logan's got to take care of business tonight. Yeah, you know, you got the Jackson Connors, the Dawson Yates that might know about that Vincennes-Logan rivalry a little bit, but uh, a majority of the freshmen are on Logan's side. It's what's going on right now, what's going on tonight. Vincennes, who's that? And so, yeah, tonight it's a big conference test. you got to worry about those conference tests more than you have to worry about Vincennes right now. So uh, win tonight, then worry about Vincennes tomorrow when you prepare for that and see what happens on Wednesday. But right now it's all about Monday night, Jamarian Sharp and uh, Sidney Curry, and everybody else knows that, and most of the freshmen realize that as well. We've got a big game coming up for you in just a few minutes, and we've got an interview with uh, Logan uh, coach Kyle Smith-Peters. We're going to pause for one minute. Matt Varney uh, got a chance to talk to Coach Smith-Peters today. We'll pause for a minute. We'll come back and have that interview. Matt talking to Kyle Smith-Peters when the pregame show continues after this.
teams are in the locker room. They'll be coming back out in just a minute, and we will have the starting lineups. About uh, four minutes to go officially before we tip things off here. And uh, Logan coming in, uh, they had a very impressive win their last time out uh, Wednesday at uh, Lincoln Trail. They won 79-64. to They've won two in a row. Um, and, Matt, I thought that the most impressive thing in the win over Trail was not the offensive play. Sidney Curry was back, but the yeah. defensive play. Um, you know, Curry came in and immediately got 11 rebounds in the game. Uh, had, I think, only one field goal. That was a dunk. But uh, he was bragging about those free throws Saturday. And uh, during the <laughs> women's game, he said, did you see my free throws? I was four of eight. Yeah. I said, Sydney, that's only 50%, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, so it's uh, – but that was a big win for Logan on the road in yeah. a very tough place. Yeah, a conference win, a uh, tough place to play. Uh, you know, just it, it's tough to go into Robinson uh, to begin with. We've talked about it in the past, and just it's tough to go away from home at any time. But going into Robinson especially, it's a little bit different there. But uh, you come in and you win that one, and you get that little boost from Sidney Curry coming back, and he gets that nice little uh, – uh, ego boost with the uh, 11 rebounds, if nothing else. And so you're ready for another conference game here on a Monday night against Swick and just ready to keep on rolling, really. I thought that uh, one of the key players in that win at Lincoln Trail last Wednesday was Xavier Ball. Uh, he mm -hmm. comes in tonight averaging eight points, but he hit some big shots down the stretch. He did. And Logan still has one more piece to add to this mix, and that's uh, Dietrich Reeves, Jr., who uh, is uh, – you know, still yet to uh, – you can wear that now if you want. <laughs> and uh, is still yet to be added to the mix. And once that happens, uh, you know, he's a dynamic shooter. Yeah. Uh, but Logan's got so many different pieces. I uh, remember the 52-point uh, outburst that Mario McKinney did, but that's almost forgotten now. Uh, but now Sidney Curry's back. So uh, now that lane, if you're Logan, gets, uh, you know, even narrower. But you got Jamarion Sharp at 7-3 on one side. And uh, you've got uh, Sidney Curry now in the middle patrolling, too. And don't forget guys like Doug Watson and Xavier Ball. So yeah. Logan has some bigs that, that can bring they can bring in. But with Sidney back, it gives them so much more versatility. Absolutely. And you talk about Rio. He's averaging 26.5 ga uh, points in the five games that they've played. And it just everything opens up with Sidney now back in. Uh, he runs the offense, Mario McKinney does. And he's going to have so many options. Can he pass to Xavier Ball? Is he going to go down low? to one of the two bigs. Is he going to run it in? It's The offense is wide open now with that extra big guy. And then you can't forget about all the guys that are on the bench that bring equal production. It's a full, almost complete team. You, you mentioned Reeves. He's still waiting to come back, which uh, you talk to Kyle Smith-Peters, and he thinks of him sometimes as a starter as well. Yeah. So this is a team that isn't completely uh, complete yet, but it is near 100% and is ready to start rolling all cylinders. Here's a... Uh Another thing, too, when you think about it, is that Logan is still making a ton, and I mean a ton, of mistakes. Mm -hmm. They average 22 turnovers a game. Now, if they can cut that in half, that's oh, going to be 11 goodness. more potential shot opportunities. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's going to be interesting to see, uh, you know, how this uh, shakes out tonight. It's a Monday night, a lot of bad weather out. I, I really, I checked in with the uh, athletic director, Greg Sterick, this afternoon at about uh, 4, and I said, we're still going to have a game because, you know, yeah. the weather in Belleville was already bad. Yeah. And uh, so we'll, we'll see how this shakes out. But they're going to they're gonna take uh, these mini buses back to the Belleville area tonight. And so I'm sure they're going to want to, you know, get out of here as soon as they can. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you got to have that in the back of your mind because those roads when I came in were starting to get, you know, pretty, pretty mm -hmm. hazardous. So we'll see what happens as Logan gets ready to take on Swick in uh, what is usually one of the premier battles in the Great Rivers Athletic Conference. Swick is two and two. They lost to a first game out. They, uh, lost Wednesday. This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. 72 points. Logan comes in averaging 88. Logan is going to win the district and the national or the regional championship and go to the national.
court. Curry strips it away from Kone and is going to roll it up and now dunked in by Trace Young on the follow. And out front, Beckham in the low crowd. They go to Scrub, Scrub faking, Scrub driving, spinning in the lane. Banker good by Jay. Logan the other way and Scrub behind the defense. Drive scores and a foul. Gets it back and shoots a baby hook in the lane. No tip up by Sharp. No, Sharp again got it good. Slaps the ball away. Scrub ahead of the pack and lays it in and a foul. That is going to be uh, Walter Johnson, a 6'2", 200 pound freshman from Louisville, Kentucky. Although they do have some size on the bench as well. 6'6", six, six, uh, Shaq Thyme and also they could bring in 6'8", uh, Luke Davis as well. Uh, so they do have some size down there and 6'5", Noah Courtney. So when you looked at them, you didn't think they were that big. When you read yeah. their stats, you start to kind of choke a little bit. But yeah, we'll exactly. see what Logan starts. They've been substituting with this starting lineup. And Sidney Curry's not going to start. Xavier Ball's not going to start. They're both standing alongside. Yeah. Jamarion Sharp comes in averaging a double-double. Ten points a game, ten point. Two rebounds a game, 6.6 blocks a game. Rio McKinney comes in averaging 26.4 points and 6.6 rebounds a game. Dawson Yates continues to be in that starting lineup. Yates averaging 2.2 points a game, but they said he knows the game. He's got that basketball intellect. Tion Nesbitt's going to start. Nesbitt has been a spot starter. He's only averaging 0.4 a game, but he plays hard. And Roman Douglas Watkins. Doug Watkins averaging 12.8 points a game, 8.2 rebounds a game. So they will have the luxury of bringing in both Xavier Ball and Sidney Curry, and we'll wonder how long they stay on that bench. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm guessing not very long. Imagine having the top Juco prospect, at least in the post, and he's coming off the bench. Yeah. Uh, that's such a help, such yeah. a help. Whenever you see Jamarion basically get maybe uh, one foul, and you're like, that's a little too quick for me, just press that button, put in uh, Sidney Curry, and you're ready to go. Well, Swick comes out in the uh, dark blue with the white letters, numbers. Logan comes out with the white, blue vowels on their back, blue numbers, and blue piping on the pants. It's going to be... Uh, Von Lillard jumping against uh, Jamarion Sharp, and Jamarion hasn't lost a tip all year. Let's see what happens here as the officials are ready to go on this snowy, icy night in Carterville. The ball's in the air, and it's won by Logan, but then uh, taken away for a moment by Jack Marinko, but he knocked it out of bounds, Logan's ball. It always makes me laugh whenever I see the Jamarion Sharp in the circle getting ready for tip off. And you, you just see the difference in size between him and whoever he's going up against. 7-3, yeah. it's just, it's unfair. Yates has the ball, throws to McKinney to Watkins. Watkins on the top to Sharp. One bounce, hands off to Yates. Right side, it goes to Rio, hands back to Yates. Yates driving baseline, double teamed, throws out to Rio. Rio fakes, drives, steps back behind the three and launches. Nope, rebound. Sharp had it off his hands. It's a switch ball. That's the one thing they want Jamarion to get sh stronger still. There's still some passes that whistle in there that he just yeah. can't handle. So here comes uh, Marinko bringing the ball up. Jack Marinko. Now he'll hand off to Tyler Landaway. Landaway comes to the top. Goes around a pick. They double team. Now Landaway in the corner against Cox. Almost throws it out of bounds. Saved. They've got it out high now. Walter Johnson. He hooks the ball to Lillard. Lillard goes down inside to Humphreys. Blocked out of there. And uh, Sharp keeps it in play. Here comes Nesbitt, throws it down low to Watkins. Now they go, uh, it's a charge. Logan tried to make one pass too many, man. Yeah, they had a good fast break play set up and it just, yeah, that charge, they got a little bit too ahead of themselves and Landaway is able to pick up that charge right there. Foul was on uh, Watkins, his first. Logan pressing, this is a new look. As they're trying yeah. to put pressure on uh, they think they can pressure the uh, Swick guards, Marinko and Landaway. Here comes Marinko. The scouting report on him was that you could put pressure on him. Oh, Rio steals the ball. And Rio McKinney's going to go up and lay it in, and he's fouled. First points of the night for the game. It goes to Rio McKinney. And a nice fast break play by him. He uh, just sped right past Marinko there. Boy, I tell you. I just barely had that out of my mouth and he was picking his pocket. Yeah. 
right in front of us and off to the races. Yeah, and, and you mentioned the scouting report on Marinko. It says right there, pressure bothers him. And Rio just gave a little bit of pressure, and, well, there you go. You get a nice little uh, fast break score. Free throw missed by McKinney, and it's knocked out of bounds by Watkins. So it'll be Swick's ball, and they're going to press again. Pass comes in to Marinko, and here he comes. He says, nope, I don't want it. He said, land away, you take it. Land away, gets by. Now on a switch, McKinney has him. They throw out on the top to Johnson. Left side, Marinko, line drive shot, no. Rebound tipped, and it's loose on the floor, picked up by Nesbitt. That's why they've got him out there. He's like a junkyard dog. Now it's uh, Marina, or uh, McKinney, and to Dawson in the right corner. Three, no good, rebound. Nesbitt back out to Dawson. They throw it top the key to Rio. McKinney holding, holding, faking, steps back out. 13 on the shot clock, McKinney goes right side, hands off Nesbitt, back to McKinney, driving, banking, no. Rebound pulled down by Adonis Humphreys, and Swick has it. Logan still leads by a deuce with the basketball. Marinko, and he turned it over, put it on his hip, carried the ball. You don't see that called very often, no, you don't. but he did it. Cam Alford and Dre Boyd coming in, Nesbitt coming out. And we talked about the bigs rotating in. He's yeah. rotating guards in tonight. Yeah, you know, you got to do what you got to do to keep those guys, uh, you know, fresh because they're the ones that are running around even more. Jamar's down there. He's okay right now. So yeah, we talked about that. we talked about the depth on the big on the big. He's got some pretty good depth in the Alfred and uh, Dre Boyd. Right now it's Watkins behind the back, spinning in the lane, puts up a tough shot. No rebound, sharp back up and in. Sharp with a nice, easy stick back, and it's 4 0 Logan. Logan pitching a shutout on the defense, Ben. With the basketball, Landaway, he almost carried the ball. Landaway on the left side, top of the key to Humphreys. He's going to launch it quickly. No good. Rebound, McKinney. McKinney comes out of there, looking up the floor. You got any teammates? Uh, yeah, there's Boyd down in the right corner. Sets and shoots a three over the iron. No, but Watkins has it on the left block. Hooks it back out to McKinney. Shot clock still in play. It's down to 17. Boy travels as he goes inside off a pass by Rio. Doug Watkins just spending time under the basket whenever he can, getting the rebound however he can to try to keep the play going, basically. Now they'll bring out Humphreys, and they're going to bring into the game um, Sidney Curry's coming in for the balls, but coming in for Swick is going to be Noah Courtney, a 6'5 freshman from Louisville, Kentucky. And he's pretty good also. He's averaging uh, 7.3 points and 4.3 rebounds. Yeah, and he just stroked one out on the left side of three. Courtney said, why didn't I start? He just knocked one down at 4-3. Logan has a one-point lead. That's how that three-point shot can change the game. Kenny with it in the lane, throws up a runner. Nope, rebound Curry and a whistle. The players hit the deck. And a foul on what? Foul going to be on Sidney Curry. Curry trying to move around and get position, and that big body, he uh, clears his throat, and they call a foul sometimes. 4-3. Talk about Courtney as he inbounds. You know, he made that three, the only basket for Swick right now. Yep. He's an 80% three-point shooter on the season. He's getting out there to set a pick. Now he'll roll. They get it to him again, but Watkins is on him. So he'll drive, come back out on the wing, throw it back off on the top to land away. On the right side, Marinko. Marinko around the screen, top of the key. Left side, Lillard, line drive jumper, no. Rebound, fought for, pulled down by Courtney, and he puts it up and in. Courtney gives Swick their first lead at 5-4. Xavier Ball getting ready to check in. And here comes uh, Isaiah Irvin. Boyd with it, out front to McKinney. We go to Alfred in the left corner. Watkins for a bomb, that's no good, too hard. Rebound comes out to Marinko. They want to run, going in ahead, down the lane, and it's a layup put up and in by Lillard. Vaughn Lillard gets the bucket, and Swick suddenly on a 7-0 run, takes a three-point lead. Outside McKinney, left side Alfred. Alfred looking at the zone. They go down the corner to Boyd, lob it inside to Curry. He started to turn before he had the ball, and they knocked it out of bounds. Sidney looked a little puzzled there. Watkins coming out, Rio coming out. And it's either Urban in and Xavier Ball. You gotta imagine it, because it's uh, him matched up against Lillard. If Curry gets that ball, he's gonna back down and likely get that bucket. 
Alfred inbound, finds Ball. Ball lobs into Curry. Curry faking, drops it down low to Boyd for the easy two. Beautiful assist by Curry right there. He just found his teammate and he had an open shot right there. They run that high low, they'll kill you with that. Seven to six, Swick's lead is one. Brinko being double teamed briefly, or excuse me, Landaway. Landaway over the timeline. Landaway trying to turn and get to the top of the key, throws it off to Marinko. Marinko being body bumped, body checked by Boyd. They throw it back out to Landaway. Landaway on the right side, Isaiah Irvin guarding him. Landaway pushes down into the free throw line. We go to Watkins, his shot partially tipped, and Sidney Curry throws it to Boyd. Back to Alfred, Alfred's gonna drive, bank it up and good. Great fast break, all of a sudden you're back in front uh, against Swick right here. 8-7 Logan. Isaiah Irvin putting that heavy pressure on Marinko. He turns and hands off out near the timeline to Landaway. Landaway on the right side, Isaiah Irvin trying to pressure him. Landaway bounce pass top of the key, Marinko. Left wing down in the corner, they swing it to Walter Johnson. Johnson looking for something to open up, nothing there. They go back on the left wing, Landaway shoots an air ball, and it's tipped over to Dre Boyd. Boyd over the timeline, throws the ball off to Xavier Ball, sets and shoots the three. Nope, rebound pulled down by Marinko. Curry was checked off, they got Lillard the other way. Oh, it's tracked on the glass by Xavier Ball, but that's gonna be a foul. Going to the line to shoot two will be Von Lillard. Great tenacity though by Ball right there, showing that he's willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, you, know, you see a lot of kids try to go ahead and just take that uh, block against the glass. He was trying to do the same thing right there but just affected the shot a little bit too much. 8-7, Logan has the lead. 14-18 to go first half here at Logan. In the bubble, free throw no good by Lillard. Lillard is a 71.4% free throw shooter. Into the game is gonna be Pat Evans for Swick. He averages 5.7 points a game. Also coming in is going to be Dalen Dalton, next free throw good, and we're tied at eight. Lillard gets one of two. Lillard, the, uh, one of the leading scorers for Swicky, averaging 11 and a half points a game. Uh, big part of it, uh, but right now only two, but he, he's one of only two scorers for Swick right now. Yeah, Luke Davis checks in, he averages 11.8 points a game, 6.8 rebounds. He was potentially a starter when they first talked about it to us tonight, but they're bringing him off the bench. Ball has it, throws inside to Curry, and a foul. Davis climbing his back. Boy, that's a big uh, house to climb. It sure is, yeah. And Curry was spread out in there. The White House, too. Call the uh, foul on Davis. That's the uh, second team foul. And they will inbound the ball. Alfred throws it into Curry, and Curry gets doubled. Dives out of bounds, and they're going to point. Nope, we're going to give the ball to Logan. And Curry went sliding into the chair, and he still hasn't got up. Wow. Took him a little bit uh, to get up, but his teammates yeah. got him back up. He's okay. Wow, he went crashing into the seats yeah. down there. You know he's fired up because he just started playing Wednesday at Lincoln Trail. Pass comes out to Alfred. Alfred dribbles on the right side to Boyd. Boyd looks a little confused. Alfred takes it over there. Alfred looking and backs out. Shot clock at 10. Alfred's still on the wing. Now Boyd has it. Gives off to Isaiah Irvin with five. And Curry's going to have to go inside and throw one up. Banking, no. Ball tipped. And it's going to be Swick. And the Logan bench screaming that Curry was fouled. Driving inside is going to be Johnson. He throws it up and good. Walter Johnson. Why do I think baseball pitcher when I say <laughs> That's a good baseball name. Yeah. Yeah. 10 8 is the score. Swick has the lead. And Logan the ball. Having a little trouble against this zone. Alfred to ball, inside to Curry, double team, whips it outside Irvin. Irvin takes one dribble, gives to Alfred, who launches the three, nope, short. Rebound ball in a crowd. Ball tries to go up, but he's fouled underneath by the little guy, Dalen Dalton. Yeah, right now, Swick is rolling out a little bit of a zone defense, saying we dare you to beat us with the three, and right now the three's not falling for Logan. So we've got an official timeout at the 13-15 mark, 10-8. And Swick has the lead. We'll pause for a minute, come back to Logan.
I'd like to buy the family's gas one too. to pay for this family's bill. Okay. We're so blessed in this country. I would encourage all of you to pay it forward and let that random act of kindness define us as a nation. Farmer State Bank, no one serves you better. Small business is the backbone to our community. It's a good feeling to know that one loan to a small business benefits everyone in the community, not just that business. It's the people at People's National Bank that are making a difference in the lives of Southern Illinois. People's National Bank is a locally owned community bank that provides quality services for the people that work and live in Southern Illinois. People's National Bank, since 1909, our focus continues on you, our customers. Checks in. Hot streak. Yeah. Don't be, uh, you're not marrying the leading all time scorer and not be able to come in and score. You, you yeah. just got to get a couple of shots down, got a little confidence, and it'll be fine. I was talking with Jackson before the game, and I asked him, because, you know, Greg Sterrett's right there. He passed him at Marion to the scoring title. And I said, well, what, have, what have you talked with uh, with Greg while you've been here? And he said, just my shot, just trying to figure it out. How's it going to go down? And so he's trying to figure it out to get hot. Xavier Ball splits a pair of free throws, and Walter Johnson gets behind everybody. Marion Sharp catches up and bats it off the glass. That's going to be a goal 10. And... Uh, Walter Johnson gets his second basket, and it is 12 to 9. Swick, they beat Logan down the floor. Xavier Ball walks, got away with it over the timeline, being pressured by Pat Evans. Ball goes inside, throws the ball, almost taken away. Watkins lob it upside, uh, high, and uh, Sharp tried to bring it down in a jackhammer, two handed jam, but he was fouled. Pushed away from the basket. The foul's going to be on Pat Evans. Yeah, with the bad two guys on it. That Wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. It's only 7-3. Well, I think it was you and me. Two, two guys with machetes on. I think it was you and me. I think we need a third guy at yeah. least. Or a ladder. <laughs> Free throw by Sharp is good. Sharp has his third point. Brings Logan to within two. 12.54 to go. First half. Next one by Sharp is perfect. He got another one. They'll be bragging about those at half. Those are the ones you got to make. 12-11. Logan trailing Swick by one as they go high post to uh, Courtney. Courtney dribbling slowly on the left wing. Now they go back inside. Davis has a free throw line, hands it off, and a collision. Pat Evans has it, and they call it illegal pick. And that's on Luke Davis, his second. Pat Evans, another one of those uh, very good shooters that Swick has, 54.5% from the field, 50 from three-point land. Uh, only averaging about five points a game, but still very efficient. 12-11 is the score. And Logan turns it over as Ball caught it in midair and tried to throw it in the lane. Nobody there but the blue jerseys. Johnson hands off to uh, Dalton. Dalton between the legs, guarded by Rio, who's got him by about five inches. Dalton skids to a stop, throws the basketball off. Catching there is Courtney, faking, driving, and the shot blocked away from behind. And Ball and Courtney end up in a dump down under the basket and inside and uh, Watkins whoops a hook pass down to Sharp who couldn't hang on to it. Just a little bit of butterfingers there, yeah. hanging on to that and uh, you've got the lead. And uh, Smith Peters yelling out at Marion, you gotta catch that, yeah. that's one you gotta catch. He acknowledged over at the bench, I know, that's me. 12-11, Swick has that lead. Pass coming up over the timeline with his Dalton. Dalton goes around a pick, but they double. Bounce pass goes on the left side, Lillard. On the right corner, Johnson. Johnson up on the right hash. Coming to the top, flip it down in the corner. Catch and release, and a three, good. In the corner by Pat Evans. It's a four point swick lead. They stay packed in the zone. Ball, playing catch across the top with McKinney. They want Connor to come in the middle. Throw on the right side to ball, back to McKinney. McKinney lobs it inside to Connor, slapped away. Swick with another steal, Logan with another turnover. And then they throw it out. Nope, it's off the leg of McKinney. Logan very, very sloppy with the ball. That pass inside was questionable. You didn't really have much of a path. There was three guys that you had to get to get through to get to Jackson Connor. It didn't seem like the right pass to go with. Sam Bledsoe coming in for Swick. Also coming in, Selassie Brathwaite, who checks in. He's from St. John's, Antigua. 
Pass comes into Dalen Dalton. All five, four of him, they go down low. Catching the ball down low is Bridgeway. Outside shot, no, knocked away, but rebound pulled back down by Sharp. Off to McKinney. McKinney on the left wing stops, looks, looks, looks. Down in the corner to Boyd on the left side, back out to McKinney. McKinney looking against the zone. Throws the ball to Jackson Connor, who launches a three. Go! That's something you can't teach. That's just something good. You had a pen in his face even, and he still was able to knock it down. Well, he's been his own buster since he's been in about third grade. <laughs> and leave him out there and just let him eat. There's another steal. Dre Boyd took it away, and Boyd goes up and jams it with two. He needed to get in on that action. He wanted it bad, and he got it. Another steal, and now a timeout called by Swick as they see that lead disappear again. Logan goes up 16-15. We'll be back in one minute. started over 42 years ago with three people in a vision. Now, with almost 50 employees, a state-of-the-art service department, and highly trained sales staff, it's become a place that's known for taking care of its customers and giving back to the community. Jim Hayes set a standard with words like honesty, integrity, and value. And though he's no longer with us, we have a group of long-term employees committed to keeping the standard we know and trust and to proudly carry on the legacy that Jim Hayes built. Logan Fitness at John A. Logan College is open and operating safely for your health. Temperature screening, mask policies, spacious facilities, and frequent cleaning make Logan Fitness the safest location for indoor exercise. Our staff goes the extra mile to ensure that the facility is always clean and regularly disinfected for a great member experience. In addition, our large open areas make it easy to accomplish your workout while still maintaining social distance. All for an affordable price with no contracts. Come see what we're all about at Logan. Did there and Dre Boyd with an energizing dunk there right before the break uh, really helped them. But you know, Swift of course said we got to stop it right there, and so that brought the timeout. Well, Boyd putting pressure on the small guard Marinko out front. Boyd trying to force him into a turnover. Now they get the basketball off to Pat Evans. Evans got to go on the left side. And Watkins has him. Rio reaches in, tries to poke it loose. The swing on the right side, Marinko. Shot clock goes under 10. Marinko's going to drive left side, and ball slapped away, stolen. Sharp throws it ahead. Rio trying to catch up to it, and it's knocked out of bounds again. Logan's like a human turnover machine. Yeah. They just belch turnovers, don't they? Yeah, every time they get a chance, they just give it away, basically. Yeah, and, and there's some of the ugliest turnovers you'll ever see, like that one. That would win first prize at the county fair for ugly. 16-15. <laughs> Logan still has the lead, but another three being launched and good. That's by one of their shooters, Sam Bledsoe, and they're leaving those shooters open. And Swick goes back in front by a deuce, 18-60. Rio McKinney throws to Watkins, lob inside, sharp back outside. McKinney wanted to shoot, instead into Connor. Can't hang on to it, another steal, but uh, they're gonna say he slid out of bounds. Swick gets their hands on the ball more than Logan does when Logan's yeah, on do. offense. They do, yeah. They've got a nose for the ball, basically, and they're trying to get it away from every time, and that's why we got such a close game. We got Curry coming in. Cam Alford's back in. They take out Jackson Connor, and they take out Jamarion Sharp. Alford will inbound. Logan down two, 9.28 to go first half. And they lob it outside to Watkins. Watkins going to go inside, slips and falls, hangs onto the ball, throws it up, and in. Glad he hung onto the ball. Yeah. Had put it. Bit of the moves on it, but he was able to find the bucket. 18-18 is the score. 9-14 to go before halftime. And Alfred pressuring Marinko, and they knock the ball loose. Now he's sliding. Oh, that's got to be a travel. And they'll give the ball to Logan. I think the officials kind of couldn't follow the bouncing ball yeah. either. As uh, how do you not call travel on Marinko? He went sliding from the yeah. forecourt into the backcourt on his rump. Well, when we talked about it earlier, he doesn't like pressure. And Whenever Logan pressures him, he goes ahead and he, uh, he loses the ball, basically. And that's why we've seen a lot more of uh, Landaway with the ball here. Well, we're going to see a lot more with it because yeah. Marinko comes out, Landaway comes back in. McKinney with it. We're in an 18-18 tie. McKinney on the right side gives to Boyd, back to McKinney. McKinney tries baseline. They cut him off, tries again, loses the ball, gets it back, flips it into Curry. 
Curry going to go inside, muscles it up, reverse layup, good. And he went through two defenders right there and was able to get the bucket easily because he split them. Curry gets his first two. Logan leads by two. The basketball left side, Evans. He's going to pull up and crank. Nope, rebound. Comes away to Logan. And Curry gives it to Alford. Gives it to Rio, baseline. They cut him off outside Watkins. He's going to penetrate back to Rio. Almost threw it out of bounds. Out on the top, it goes to Alford. Alford holding the ball, looking as Logan sets up. Curry comes up to set a pickup high. Alford on the left side, throws it back to Watkins. Watkins looks inside, back to Alford. Kicks it in the corner, McKinney for a three. Nope, rebound, Curry. Wait a minute, we're gonna say there was a foul on McKinney. We're gonna say he kicked the guy who went by him and knocked it down. Wow. That's kind of a tough one. Yeah, that is. But I was gonna say, the, before the uh, shot, before they got the play actually going, they're just getting so sped up, Logan is, and not being able to kind of get their feet set for a second. If they slow down, this game might look completely different. 20 to 18, look out as uh, Logan gets her hand on a pass and it went off of Bledsoe. Bledsoe barking at uh, Landaway, one of their little guards, saying, hey, you gotta give me the ball right Now they'll bring in uh, Dalen Dalton and take Landaway out. That's that's their Achilles heel at the guard. That, yeah. They're so small and uh, they just, Logan just really cranking up the pressure. Yeah, exactly. You keep bringing that pressure, things are gonna start to get a little bit wider and wider until eventually you see that lead the way that you want it. Alfred off to Watkins. Watkins walked out away with it. He's double teamed, comes through the lane, gives to uh, McKinney in the right corner, back out to Watkins. 10 on the shot clock. Watkins throws to Alfred. Alfred throws into Curry. Curry double teamed and Travis. Another turnover. Another turnover. Another turnover. It's not a broken record. That's just me calling the game. <laughs> 20 to 18 is the score. Volunteers average 22 turnovers a game and they're right on pace. Logan leads by two, 7.28 to go in a low scoring first half. Dalton over the timeline. Dalton bounce pass, high post it goes to Humphreys. They go give and go down low and Lillard puts it up and in. Lillard has five and they made that look very, very easy and it's tied at 20. Watkins top of the key, double team. They go to McKinney in the corner, and Dalton's on him. They go into Curry. Curry looking, hooks it outside to Watkins. Watkins baseline, throws up a shot. It goes in, and he's fouled. And I don't know how he got the shot away. I don't know, yeah. I mean, it kind of curved a little bit right there to find the basket, really. The counts, and the foul is going to be on Adonis Humphreys. And here comes Isaiah Irvin, and here comes uh, Dawson Yates. Coming out is going to be Rio and Dre Boyd, I think. No, I think Rio's staying in. Dre's coming on. So Watkins going to try for point number five and miss it. Rebound pulled down by Hump. Logan by two. Quick the other way. Oh, boy, wide open shot there by Bledsoe. He passed it up on the left wing. They'll run their offense. And uh, Dalton has the ball on the right side. The little guard looks inside. Now Bledsoe will shoot a line drive three and nailed it. He's up to six now. I mean, you can't pass up shots like that. He's just happy with what he gets. We'll keep it here on the 30-second timeout. And it's 23-22. Swick has the lead. And uh, this Swick team, very, very dangerous outfit. Now they're saying it's a full timeout. So let's pause for 30 seconds and we'll be right back. For over 35 years, Mackey's Pizza has served Southern Illinois. Now we invite you to the new Mackey's of Marion. Same amazing food, gorgeous new surroundings. Mondays are family night at Mackey's of Marion. Get a one topping 16 inch pizza, combination salad for four, and a pitcher of soda for only $17. For lunch, for dinner, for more than just a meal, it's Mackey's Pizza. Twick leads by one. That's low scoring, a lot of turnovers, but 
I'll tell you what, Swick likes to try to just catch you off guard with those plays, uh, the, the off the pass shots. Yeah, Luke Cox is in the ball game for the first time. And McKinney's going to fake the three and launch it over everybody's head in the left corner. If that Hall of Fame room was open, that might have had a shot. Isaiah Irvin had no shot. Another turnover for Logan. I hope you're keeping them, Matt, because we're already in double digits. <laughs> they don't keep stats here, and that's a, that's a gratuitous thing for Logan. 23-22, Swick has the lead. Sixth ranked team in the nation being pressed and pushed here in the first half. Alton Johnson has it. He goes baseline, steps back and shoots and misses. Rebound pulled down by Luke Cox. Back out to Johnson, off to Dalen Dalton. Dalton dribbling out front. Isaiah Urban watching him. Dalton goes on the right. They clear out the right side. And now a whistle and a foul. And that's going to be called on Luke Cox. Down inside, banging around. And coming in is Bledsoe. Coming out is going to be Luke Cox. Bledsoe just uh, hit that big three that sent us to the break, basically. And, uh, I think Logan wanted to keep him off the floor, but now he's back. 5.55 to go in the first half. Swick by one. McKinney with it on the right side. Urban back to McKinney. The zone has caused problems for the balls. Dawson down in the corner to Urban to Dawson to McKinney. McKinney not really an outside scorer. He's more of a slasher. Watkins is a shooter. He pops up, puts it on too high, but it's tipped up by McKinney. No, Yates got a hand on it, but taken away by Bledsoe. Off to Dalton. Dalton over the timeline, almost falls down and uh, goes over to the left side of the floor. They'll set a big pick by Humphreys. Dalton to the top of the key, swoops it down in the right corner, long three, good again by Bledsoe. He's just burning him right now. With Now he's got nine points on three threes. 26-22, Swick's biggest lead. Right side, Urban, top of the key, Watkins. Watkins in the lane and walks. Nope, they bail him out with a foul. Foul is going to be called against Dalen Dalton, his second. Eighth team foul. That's going to put uh, Watkins at the line, shooting a one and one. Subs coming in as Curry comes out. And uh, Irvin's going to stay in. Trey Boyd will go down low. Sharp is in. Cam Alford in. Xavier Ball waits. Right in front of Larry Page and myself. We won't be seeing much of these free throws. First one is good. I could see the basket. And Doug Watkins is 66.7% on the free throw shooter. He hits most of them. Next free throw by Watkins is up and good. Drain two here. 26-24 is the score. And Xavier Ball checks in. And Logan putting pressure on Marinko again in the backcourt. The little guard has had problems. He hands off to Walter Johnson. Now they've got it in a fourth corner. This is something we've seen Swick do before. Marinko hands it off to Johnson. Johnson starts inside, slapped away, got it back. Johnson throws the ball, driving inside and scooping and flipping it up and in was Evans around Sharp, who stood there like a giant statue. 28-24, Swick has the lead. Irvin, bounce pass Boyd, left wing, lob inside, ball catches, they steal. Swick has it, here comes Marinko. Marinko over the timeline, his head on a swivel. Down in the corner, long shot, blocked out of there by Sharp. Lillard thought, I'll try one, Sharp says, no you won't. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not something, uh, he averages six blocks a game for a reason. Uh, you can try to do the perimeter, but he's too big to do that. And Lillard thought he had plenty of time. Marion stuck an arm out and just batted up into the seats. Hill inbounded to Walter Johnson. Nobody guards him. And no good. And Sharp the rebound out to uh, Alford. Alford runs it up. Cam in the lane. And they strip it from him. And Swick comes the other way. Here comes Davis and or Evans. And Evans is going to score. They'll count it. And they say the foul. Oh, wait a minute. They, maybe they're going to say foul's going to be on Xavier Ball. They count the basket. They haven't yet. No, they haven't. Now, we're going to say it's uh, Swick's ball out of bounds. Max and Connor coming in. And they take ball out. And it's just not happening for Logan right now. No, it's not. And every time they try to fast break, Swick's already down there with their defense set up. Swick's going to inbound. They're looking for Marinko. They get him the ball. He's going to pump it up. No good. Rebound. Sharp pulls it down. Throws it out. 
to McKinney. McKinney has a bounce off the leg of Marinko. Coming the other way, it's gonna be Lillard. Blocked by Boyd. And now Sharp gets the ball and it's punched out of bounds by Von Lillard. Boy, oh boy. Logan right can't do right. anything right with the offensive end. Fast breaks are like uh, the weather outside. They're yeah. on ice. Yeah, exactly. McKinney throws the ball on the right side. Alfred back that to McKinney. McKinney top of the key. Back to Alfred. Alfred will fake the shot, put it back to Rio. Rio looking. Sharp just standing around down there. Now Alfred will shoot the three and drain it. A much needed triple by Cam Alfred and it's a one point lead for Swick with 3.35 to go. Marinko over the timeline. Alfred tracks him. They get the ball off to the hands of Pat Evans. Evans trying to make a move and does down the lane and throws it up, no good. Chipped up and good by Humphreys, his first bucket of the game. They got to Sharp going up and down like a pogo stick and the second guy got it. Alfred had a shot but didn't take it. Goes off to McKinney in the corner to Connor. Jackson Connor back out to McKinney. McKinney to Alfred, they're watching him now. Back to McKinney, Rio fakes the shot. Back to Alfred, he launches another one, in and out, no. Boyd fighting the rebound, Jackson, Connor gets it. Connor in a crowd, gives it to Sharp, back outside, they'll reset it. Down in the corner it goes to Boyd. Boyd looking, throws it away, grabbed by Alfred in the lane, put it up off balance, no, and they call a charge on Alfred. That's how out of sync Logan's yeah. offense is. Yeah, and right now Swick's just showing a simple 3-2 defense. Yeah. And Swick is two and two. They're playing like they're 12 and 2. I know it. And that enthusiasm on the bench is bothersome because Logan's let Swift think they can play with them. Yeah. And right now they are. They're leading them by three. Exactly, yeah. Well, and I mean, it, Coach has said it every single time uh, we've talked with them, basically. Uh, when you're ranked number one preseason, you're going to get everybody's best effort. Yeah. Now they're number six, and they're still getting everybody's yeah. first punch in the nose. There's a pass. Goes inside to Courtney, and he's going to go double faking, but can't get the sharp out of position. They'll go on top to uh, Walter Johnson. He puts up a long bomb, no. Rebound uh, out of bounds. Oh, they're going to call a push on Logan. They're going to put a push, I think, on McKinney. Yep. Yeah. Then McKinney pushed the switch player out of bounds. Austin Yates coming in. McKinney will come out with those two personal fouls. And Logan is not doing anything on the offensive end except turning it over. Dawson Yates coming in. Patrick Evans will shoot a one and one. Free throw is up and good. Evans gets the bonus. It's a four point lead for Swift. Evans. Ready, puts it up, and good. Those are easy ones, just stand there by yourself. 32-27, now it's a 1-2-2. Half court trap, Alfred over the timeline, Alfred they're being double teamed, Alfred in trouble, throws the ball to Watkins, and they steal the ball again, here they go, two on two. Marinko's gonna challenge Alfred, put it up, missed it, rebound Yates. Yates coming the other way, throws it ahead to Watkins, Watkins gonna go inside, big collision, that's a charge. That's a charge, friends. Yeah. That's a charge. And that's just them trying to get to the free throw line, really. Well, they had a guy on the left wing, Matt, you just kick it over there, exactly. that's an easy shot. Exactly. Easy shot. Watkins coming out, here comes Dre Boyd. Yeah. Right now, it looks like just everybody's trying to say, yeah. I'm gonna do it myself for yeah. the team. Exactly, that's and just what said. I was thinking. Instead, Everybody's you know, saying, got, I'm the guy. Yeah, instead it's uh, not taking that extra pass. Well, I don't want to be in that locker room at halftime. I don't know. We go under two minutes. And a ball stolen by Alfred. Alfred coming down, two guys hanging on him. They call a foul on Marinko. Marinko did that just so Alfred wouldn't have to run out at the other end. That's the ninth team foul against Swick. And at the free throw line will be Cam Alfred, a 75% free throw shooter. That's only Marinko's first foul out of the amount that we've oh, seen. Oh, what? yeah, it is. Yeah, You're it's right. only his first and he put one up. I thought he had one. The amount that he's uh, been on the bench, though, you'd think he'd have more, but it's because just he's had turnover problems yeah. for them. Yeah. But he's really the only guy for them that's had turnover problems. Here's Alfred at the free throw line. The first one is on the way into it. 
32-28 is the count. Swick has the lead over the sixth ranked team in the country. Alford's next one is up and perfect. And that stabilizes the team right there. It resets everything. Okay, it's just a three point deficit right now. See what you can do with a minute 45 to go. 32-29 is the score. Swick has the lead. And with it, Bledsoe trying to find a spot. Almost lost it out of bounds. Throws the basketball off to Courtney. Courtney almost throws it in the backcourt. Evans saved it. Evans with 10 on the shot clock. Goes around a pick. Evans is going to whip it. And it is batted out of bounds by Dawson Yates. Yates playing that passing lane perfectly and almost volleyballed it out of bounds into the Logan bench. But you had to do it because it was going towards Bledsoe. And he's already got three threes. Five seconds on the shot clock. And they threw it past Bledsoe, who wasn't waiting, watching. Now he gets it, throws the ball to Johnson. He's going to pull up and fire. Nope. Rebound, Sharp. Out of pass, Alfred. Alfred up the right sideline. Alfred at the uh, free throw line extended right side. Throws around a pick by Sharp. Throws instead to Yates. Down the quarter to Boyd. Back outside to Yates. They go to Alfred, to Curry. Curry, right side, whips it inside to Boyd. Awful pass. A bounce pass in the lane with the guys all over him. And another turnover by the Volunteers. 32-29 is the score. Swick's gonna probably have the lead at half, barring some kind of fast finish. They're gonna have an easy shot here, drilling up no, double bounce, Curry gets it anyway. Off to Alford, two on two, now two on three. Alford's gonna stop, shoot it, good, and he's fouled. Alfred just pushed it and got it that time. The foul was on Noah Courtney. Oh, First foul on Courtney, and at the free of the line will be Cam Alfred. And that fast finish that you talked about here, I mean, it's possible, I guess, if he makes it here and then plays some good defense at the other end, you, you could end up with the lead here at halftime. Alfred didn't start and has 10. Makes the free throw. And now Von Lillard comes back in for Swick for the final 41 seconds. And they throw the ball into Walter Johnson. Ray Boyd trying to catch up with him to get in front. Walter Johnson's going to go all the way to the free throw line and come back out on the dribble. 33 seconds, 21 on the shot clock. Walter Johnson on the left side, and they jump out and double team, and they almost throw it away. Bledsoe gets it, looking for a screen, going down in the corner. Curry tracking him. Bledsoe, they throw it in the lane. Curry steals the ball. 18 seconds. Here comes Boyd over the timeline. Boyd. In trouble now, throws the ball and a foul. Bledsoe, wow, well, wait a minute, they call a timeout. They call a timeout and that, uh, they called a foul on Swick, but Logan had already called the timeout first. So they're upset at Boyd for throwing the bad pass. <laughs> they were calling the timeout on the bench. Yeah, and they need to, to reset well, everything here. They would have had two free throws. Yeah, yeah know, that's true, yeah. At, at 10 fouls on Swick, that would have been two free throws coming for Logan, but Again, Logan just, oh man. I mean, do they have their eyes open when they handle the ball? No. I mean, it doesn't it, feel that way. I, you know, you just can't, and I'm going to say this, and I'll ask Coach about it at that time. You can't be ranked sixth in the country and averaging 22 turnovers a game and play like you're on ice skates. No, I mean, you, can't, they're, you can't. They're just making horrible uh, decisions, and nobody, you know, Alfred has stabilized him a little bit, as you said. He's come in to score 10 points and three or three from the line. But, uh, man, some of these guys. Logan gets the ball here graciously. Ten seconds to go. Let's see if they can pull something out. They go to Yates. Back to Boyd. Boyd in the lane. Going to lob it up for Curry. Curry juggles it. He's double teamed. Put it up. Hit the bottom of the backboard. Yates going to fire it and miss it. Rebound. Coming the other way. Bledsoe from behind the center line. No. And it is halftime. And they score 32-32. As we talk to Logan coach Kyle Smith-Peters. Well, uh, you knew they were going to be tough. Swick always is, but uh, you helped them out a little bit by throwing the ball. Oh the boy, we're giving away souvenirs, so yeah. we got to get that fixed. And I mean, it's like I said, one of those things where as the as the course of the year goes on, we've got to be able to step in here and impose our will, not play to the level of our competition. I mean, this is a, a game right now. I feel that you know, 32, I'm good with, but then having 32 should be about a 22, um, somewhere around there. But when you have 14, 15 turnovers, that's you know, they're going to get they're going to get baskets. Cam Alford came in to give you a double figures off the bench, and that's been the one bright spot, but offensively just can't get anything in sync. Uh, we just, we're holding the ball too much, we're stopping, we're not pushing, honestly we're just not playing hard enough in my opinion, and 
Um, probably comes on me. We lightened up the pregame stuff today a little bit, thinking we'd be ready, and you know, obviously we weren't. So we're going to have to make some adjustments for these next 20 minutes. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. That is uh, Logan uh, Coach Kyle Smith-Peters. and Put it uh, pretty bluntly. Didn't he? he did, yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, he should because it, it's not a pretty first half, and he's got to find ways to adjust it now. Yeah, and uh, the deal is when you, when you look at it, uh, you know, essentially, uh, you could say, well, Logan needs somebody to run the show. Yeah. Cam Alford came in and did a pretty good job of that. Uh, he got 10 points, three or three from the line. Uh, but, uh, you know, you got McKinney with two points. He averages 26. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You got Irvin, no points. He averages eight. Uh, Sidney Curry, only two. Dre Boyd, four. Xavier Ball averaging eight. He has one of two from the line. Uh, Watkins averaging 12.8. Now, he does have six, but he's two yeah. or three from the line. Connor hit that three. Uh, Logan offensively just really struggling against this Swick zone. Yeah, it's the zone, and they're, they're showing multiple different looks. That's the other thing, I think. It's setting them off a little bit because every time that Logan figures it out, Swick says, okay, we'll throw some mouse out you. And, and Coach talked about it in the pregame interview as well. Uh, they've got 80 offensive sets or something like that yeah. and uh, so many defensive sets. It's, you know, you every time that you think you figured it out, they switch it up on you. And you got to be able to move on the fly like they are. They did a zone. They did a 1-2-2, uh, you know, three-quarter three uh, yeah. court trap. Yeah. Um, so they, they will throw some different looks at you. And Logan, uh, all they've done is in the first half is be a turnover machine. Yeah. I mean. Uh, it's uh, you look at it, and you heard uh, Coach say he's he's got about uh, about 15 turnovers, and they're not keeping stats here. Yeah. Uh, so you know what stats we get, we keep, and uh, you know they've asked us don't keep the turnovers. So <laughs> we said okay, you know, you're the guy paying the bills, yeah. so we won't keep the turnovers. Yeah. No, nah, we're, we're just kidding. But Logan, uh, really, they want to run. They want to get do. the ball they out. Do. They think they can pound the glass and get it going the other way, but. Uh, so far this year, they're averaging 22 turnovers a game, and there's one thing you can count on if you watch the balls this year, they're going to throw the ball all over the place. They will, yeah. And, well, I mean, I mentioned it here near the end of the first half. Uh, every time that it seemed like Logan tried to go on the fast break, there's already two, three guys from Swick on the opposite end already set up. I mean, at that point, you got to just say, okay, slow it down. Let's find the right shot. Let's not just try to throw it into the bucket. Uh, you, that's not going to get you too many points. That's going to create more turnovers, which it has. Well, and the one thing, too, we talked about with Swift, their <laughs> guards, Marinko, Landaway, yeah. Dalton, uh, can't handle pressure. And Logan took advantage of that early. They got, uh, you know, they, they finally set Marinko and they set Landaway. They went with uh, Dalen Dalton for a while. He didn't score. It kind of gave him a little bit of uh, ball handling. And then uh, Fletcher. Came off the bench, he averages three, here's a guy, averaging 3.5 a game. He's already stroked him for three threes, he's got nine. Pat Evans comes in off the bench, he's got seven. Um, so, you know, it's been the bench that's, uh, that's fueled Swick and, and the guards continue to struggle, but then they get in that half court, they went into a four corner at one point. We've seen them do that before, the four corner spread uh, that they do. I've seen. Swick come in and do the four corner spread and hold the ball almost the entire shot clock yeah. and then take a shot. So in years past. So they will show you anything and everything. And right now they are, uh, and rightly they should be hit. I mean, they should, you know, yeah. Logan got that little burst at the end. 32 32 at the half. Logan's fortunate not to be playing from behind the second. Exactly. You talk about Patrick Evans and Sam Bledsoe well, on the scouting report. Evans, uh, not afraid to use his pull up, and we saw it a whole bunch there, and that's why he got the points that he got. Bledsoe, he's a shooter. He makes most of his shots uh, when they come from three-point land. Uh, 13 of his 14 shots coming into this game were from the three-point shot. Uh, and so they got to be looking out for them because they are factors, and they're going to continue to be factors. Well, and I saw him warm up. He didn't even go mm -hmm. down into the paint no. or down on the baseline to warm up. He stayed way out here, out behind the three-point line, just yeah. warming up and stretching. So. Obviously, he doesn't like to go <laughs> down uh, down inside. Uh, we're going to come back in a minute, talk a little bit of high school basketball, and uh, there's been some developments <laughs> today that uh, a lot of people feared might happen as uh, El Dorado's program has been put on pause because of a, a COVID outbreak. I, I had one source tell me it was with their sophomore class, and they played West Frankfurt on Saturday night. We'll get into that when we come back. It's 32-32 at the half. You're listening to Johnny Logan Basketball on 103.5 ESPN.
I'd like to buy the family's gas one too. to pay for this family's rental. Okay. We're so blessed in this country. I would encourage all of you to pay it forward and let that random act of kindness define us as a nation. Farmer State Bank, no one serves you better. Small business is the backbone to our community. It's a good feeling to know that one loan to small business benefits everyone in the community, not just that business. It's the people at People's National Bank that are making a difference in the lives of Southern Illinois. People's National Bank is a locally owned community bank that provides quality services for the people that work and live in Southern Illinois. People's National Bank, since 1909, our focus continues on you, our customers. Jim Hayes Incorporated was started over 42 years ago with three people and a vision. Now, with almost 50 employees, a state-of-the-art service department, and highly trained sales staff, try to slip slide to my car after this is over, but the, uh, you know, the people I'm more concerned about is the minibuses going back up to the Bellwood. Yeah. You know, I, I thought uh, at one point this afternoon they may call this game. Yeah. The weather. Yeah. But they didn't. No, they didn't. Uh, you saw it kind of come in around Nashville probably around 2, 3 o'clock and then uh, just kind of slowly crept down the southern <laughs> Illinois area and uh, yeah, you know, there was a chance, but here we are in a warm gym playing some basketball. 32-32 uh, game, so uh, we'll see how the second half goes. Yeah, it's not uh, pretty. It's not going to be on anybody's highlight reel. Uh, but uh, I'm sure that in the Swick locker room, uh, they're pumping their fists in the air saying, hey, look, this, this is the sixth-ranked team in the country. Yeah. We, we should be leading them. We should have them down. And uh, if you're Logan, I don't even want to imagine what's being said in there because, uh, you know, you heard the coach say, we're not playing on Well, anytime somebody says that. Uh, so let's get to this high school stuff. Uh, yeah. High school season has started. Uh, Murfreesboro won their game Saturday. You called that. Uh, Carterville is 2-0 and off to a quick start. Yeah. Uh, they beat Heron on uh, Friday night. And uh, some, some teams are playing in the afternoon. Some teams are playing. Uh, Frankfurt played at El Dorado Saturday night. Supposedly there was uh, someone that was exposed to COVID on the sophomore team. Uh, I was told that one of the sophomores on the El Dorado team did not play, but then it came out today that El Dorado was pausing their basketball program for a while. Well, then later in the afternoon, uh, Linda Barra, the Murfreesboro AD, announced that uh, the game coming up, what, next Tuesday? Next Tuesday, yeah. Uh, with, uh, with Frankfurt had been canceled, postponed, if you will, yeah. because uh, Frankfurt was going on a quarantine yeah. because they'd been at, at uh, El Dorado. So this was the one thing that a lot of people had uh, thought might happen if, if teams started to play. Um, they're trying to wear masks. They're trying to be socially distanced. They're doing everything that is being asked of them. Uh, but, you know, that, that bug is still out there. It's going gonna, it's gonna to find a way to get in, and that's what some people were worried about. So we've already got a couple of teams uh, pausing uh, at least uh, for a week, and that leaves Murfreesboro searching for another opponent. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they can find someone. Uh, it'll be quite short notice, but uh, the schedules got done in quite short notice as well. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm sure there. I, I know he uh, posted out there also, Len Navarre did, uh, for the freshman team for Murfreesboro. Hey, we've got some dates open, and he yeah. almost immediately got two dates scheduled. So I'm sure there's someone out there. You might have to go out of your conference, maybe go a little bit. Uh, to someone that you normally wouldn't play, but I'm sure there's somebody out there willing to play next Tuesday. Well, we'll see. As uh, now teams are going to start searching, and we've seen it at the uh, professional level, yep. the NBA, the National Hockey League. Uh, we were told today that it looks like the Blues and the Arizona team are going to play seven straight times uh, <laughs> because of the uh, outbreaks in Vegas, and in, uh, Denver, and in uh, Minneapolis. So. That Western Division, you know, the Blues and uh, Arizona, we just keep playing each other. We're okay, so let's just keep well, playing. And the two coaches there, uh, Craig Berube being the St. Louis coach, what they're going to say is, well, this will just prepare us for the postseason. Yep. This is what we do in the postseason, so no biggie there. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, after a while, you just get into seeing them so many times, you're going to make, play somebody else, please. Uh, yeah, so right, right. It'll be interesting to see just how that goes. Uh, you know, I know the Blues are – quite well. I'm not too sure how Arizona's doing this year, but I have a feeling the Blues will probably uh, do a little bit better than Arizona. Well, the uh, NFL season is over. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers crowned Super Bowl champs. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people were, 
I, I think they weren't stunned that Tampa Bay won. They were stunned at the uh, point spread and yeah. how they won it. Uh, but uh, Mahomes had those offensive linemen injured. And uh, what a talent. I mean, even running for his life, he was he bounced a couple off people's face shields. And, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, you, you have uh, some uh, uh, you know, wide receivers that make some big, big plays. It could be a whole different situation. But it didn't happen that way. And uh, Tampa Bay, Tom Brady, uh, whether you call it uh, Tampa Bay now yeah. or, uh, or Tampa Brady. Uh, but uh, uh, so Tampa Bay wins the Super Bowl. Bruce Arians. Dominican Sue gets his first Super Bowl yeah. ring. Uh, and uh, Gronk said today, uh, oh, I expect to be back. He said, I'm a free agent, but he said, why wouldn't I come back? I love yeah. the people here. I love the guys. I love the front office. And uh, most people think Brady will come back. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's amazing that uh, I, I saw something uh, on the social media yesterday. I said, well, what, what would have been the odds of you telling somebody uh, a year ago that you'll see Brady – Gronk and Antonio Brown playing in the Super Bowl, uh, and it won't be uh, New England. It, it's uh, it's crazy, but Brady pulled it off, and he's got, what, seven now? Right? Yeah, seven rings. I, I tell you what, if you had told me Brady and Gronk, I would have said, yeah, that, that makes sense. Add in Antonio Brown, I would yeah. no, no way. So Well, and, uh, and he really played big down the stretch. Ball. He did, oh, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. All right, we've got a 32-32 tie here. And uh, the Volunteers and the uh, Swick Club both back out on the floor. We'll pause for one minute, come back, we'll run down the score and get ready for the second half. Jim Hayes Incorporated was started over 42 years ago with three people and a vision. Now, with almost 50 employees, a state-of-the-art service department, and highly trained sales staff, it's become a place that's known for taking care of its customers and giving back to the community. Jim Hayes set a standard with words like honesty, integrity, and value. And though he's no longer with us, we have a group of long-term employees committed to keeping the standard we know and trust and to proudly carry on the legacy that Jim Hayes built. Logan Fitness at John A. Logan College is open and operating safely for your health. Temperature screening, mask policies, spacious facilities, and frequent cleaning make Logan Fitness the safest location for indoor exercise. Our staff goes the extra mile to ensure that the facility is always clean and regularly disinfected for a great member experience. In addition, our large open areas make it easy to accomplish your workout while still maintaining social distance. All for an affordable price with no contracts. Come see what we're all about at Logan Fitness. For over 35 years. 232 here at the half. And well, you could just look up and see uh, the blue storm of Southwest Illinois College Swick. They have a bounce in their steps and confident. Uh, they've got some swagger. They feel good. They have Logan in a tie at the half. And by all likelihood, by all you know, watching the first half, Really, Swick should be up by two, mm -hmm. three, four points. Logan, uh, you know, got to got to solve it, and uh, it's it's not going to, you know, they played so well up at Lincoln Trail, but it was two teams running up and down the floor. Yeah. Swick's not going to do that. No. No. You now Swick will will sit back in the zone. Swick will come down and show you different looks offensively and defensively, and this is going to be a struggle. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if this is going to be 68, 64. Sure. Be the final score. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and, and you talked about the Hoffman step for Swick. You look over on Logan's side, and they look focused. Some of them probably look like, uh, you know, I, I just looking at them, some of them have those lips kind of pursed back behind uh, in their mouth because you can tell they got shooed out at halftime. I mean, I don't blame Coach at all. Uh, so we'll see just how they respond at, from the halftime, uh, I guess, chewing that they got, and we'll see just – what happens here? Here's the scoring. Uh, Swick uh, being led by Sam Bledsoe with nine points, all threes, three threes. Five for Von Lillard, five for Noah Courtney, four for Walter Johnson, two for Adonis Humphreys, and uh, Evans has seven. Pat Evans off the bench. Logan being led by Cam Alford with ten. Two points for Mario McKinney. Uh, Austin Yates hasn't scored. Isaiah Irvin hasn't scored. Sidney Curry, two. Dre Boyd, four. Xavier Ball, one of two from the line. Doug Watkins, six, two of three from the line. Jackson Connor has three. Tion Nesbitt didn't score, and that is it for Logan. They will send out Watkins, Sharp, Yates, Rio McKinney, and Tion Nesbitt. Same Curry lineup. And here comes Landaway. He handles the ball. 
Gives off on the uh, top to Lillard. Lillard to Landaway. Landaway stops, looks, flips it off to Humphreys. Humphreys on the top, Walter Johnson. Johnson around a pick. And Jamarion Sharp jumps out to help. Knock the ball away. Oh, it's blocked out of bounds by Sharp. Walter Johnson thought he had an avenue. <laughs> now the Hogan bench saying there was a double dribble. The officials didn't know the ball was tipped. So Swift's ball out of bounds. With a wingspan like that, no, you normally aren't going to have that. Austin open. Yates got ran over by Walter Johnson. Johnson, yeah. what, what happened? What happened? <laughs> I, I felt something on my hip. Johnson gets the foul. That's his first. Logan gets the ball. And Swift didn't get a shot at them. Here comes McKinney. Throws the ball to Yates. Hands off to McKinney. McKinney in the right corner. Throws the ball on the top to Sharp. Upside Watkins. Watkins hands off to Yates. Yates starts inside. Yates stops. Give to Watkins. Watkins motors. Give to Yates. Yates down in the corner to McKinney. Inside to Sharp. Double team. Back to McKinney. Slashing to the goal. Put it up and in. And that's what they needed in the first half. They were looking for that. I think you're right about being more focused. 34-32, Logan. Let's see what they do on the defensive end. Handaway gets loose, but Rio catches up. Gives outside Marinko. Marinko on the right side. Hooks it back outside Humphreys. Humphreys going to step and shoot a three. No good. Rebound. Nesbitt knocked the loose from the ball. Johnson picks it up and turns and banks it in. 34-34. Here comes McKinney, throws it ahead to Watkins. Watkins back to McKinney. McKinney wanted to take the three, wanted to take the three, goes to Watkins, holding the ball out like a grape, throws it back off to McKinney. To Nesbitt, to Yates. Yates curls around a pick. Yates gives it back up, it's almost stolen. Uh, Nesbitt's going, or inside is McKinney and he's grabbed. And the official out on the uh, sideline caught it, Walter Johnson. Yeah, and they were really missing McKinney. McKinney was kind of the missing piece there. You have Sharp, you got Curry in there, doing what they can, and then of course you have uh, Alfred kind of picking up the slack there. Always somebody kind of that fourth player, if you will. But McKinney was missed in the first half, and here he is early in the second half, making it work. Well, he scored 40 in the second half of a game this year. A game he ended up with 52. Xavier Ball coming in, Tion Nesbitt coming out for Logan. Next free throw by the lefty, McKinney, short. Rebound, land away of Swick. Logan leads by one, with two minutes in the second half. Outside, land away, throws the ball to Lillard. Lillard holding on the top. Lillard looking for cutters. Lillard trying to give it to Marine. They slap it away from Marinko, but back to Lillard. Shot clock goes under 10. They're long way away from the basket. Johnson out on the right sideline, gives to Marinko. Gonna throw it back out to Johnson. Johnson steps inside and shoots. No good. Rebound sharp. Out to McKinney. McKinney racing up the sideline, going down the right corner. Out to Watkins. Watkins steps back in rhythm, jumps. No, nope, in and out. Rebound Lillard. That's a little offline there from 35 34. Logan still holding on to a one point lead. Outside Marinko hooks it down the left corner. Lillard. Long jump shot. No good. Sharp had it go over his head, but there's Dawson Yates to scoop it up. The Pinckneyville product flies up the floor, leaves it for Watkins. Watkins looking at ball, gives Xavier the basketball down to Yates, back outside to Ball, hooks it in the corner to Watkins, cut him to the hoop, and he scores. Eight points for Watkins. Logan leads 37-34. Out front, Landaway. Landaway dribbling between the circles. Rio watching him, Landaway on the right side. Landaway looks, they run cutters. On the top, Marinko, left side, Johnson. Johnson inside, the big man. Humphrey's gonna hook it up, good. Donis Humphrey's kind of a quick hook. Got it over uh, Jamarion. Now McKinney down in the corner, Yates for a three, good. Yates hits a big three for the balls. They're up four, 40 to 36. Over the timeline comes Landaway. Landaway dribbling the basketball behind his back. Moves around a screen. Sharp jumps out to challenge. Landaway stops on the right side. Fakes. Two guys went in the air. Left side, Marinko. Marinko holding the ball. Yates watching him. Marinko tries. Now throws the top of the key. Bounce pass inside. It's Humphreys. Shot partially blocked. Ball tipped in the air. Comes away. Humphreys keeps it. Swick with another chance. Outside it goes. Walter Johnson. They'll reset it. 
That was really smart play by Jamar on Sharp there. He uh, set his feet, turned around, and uh, Lillard had to kind Whoa, of Whoa, big collision inside as Walter Johnson goes up. And uh, they tried to get, there was Ball trying to take the uh, charge. But the foul goes on Xavier Ball. Third on Ball. And it will be Walter Johnson at the free throw line. He's a pretty big guy. Walter stands 6'2", but he weighs, they say 200. I'd say maybe 210. Free throw good. Seven points for Johnson. Full switch within three, and Logan, like a hockey team, makes a line change. Curry coming in. Uh, Alfred coming in. Connor coming in. Boyd coming in. Rio McKinney stays on the floor. This could pull Swift to within two. Johnson's free throw is good. He's got eight. 40 to 38 is the score. Alford brings it over the line. Boyd directing traffic. Now Boyd has the ball. Gray fakes, throws in the corner. McKinney wanted to start, can't. Throw it to Curry, can't. Outside Alford. Alford, top of the key, double team. Throws it inside to Curry. Curry being double team. Shot put up, no. And a foul. Curry pounding his thighs as he felt like he should have made that shot. The foul is going to be called on Noah Courtney. Second personal foul. And it was Jackson Connor that got the pass and got separated from the ball. I thought I heard uh, skin on skin. I thought Jackson yeah. got it right in the schnoz. Free throw, no good by Connor. 15-28, still to play in this game. Logan leads by two, 40-38. Connor tries again, free throw is no good. Curry the rebound. Curry bounces, put it up and in, muscles it through. That's just pure brute strength there. Sydney has a second field goal. 42-38, Logan getting a bucket off a missed free throw. That's big. He played almost five minutes here in the second half. Landaway goes to Johnson. Johnson dribbling out front, guarded by Boyd. Johnson trying to get around Lillard, does, spins in the lane, lost the ball, and Curry comes away with it. Curry hands the ball off to Alfred. Alfred throws the ball to McKinney. McKinney faking the shot. Somebody goes flying through the lane. Curry's down. Connor in the corner put it up no. Rio had a chance at it, but Lillard has it. Allen pass going hard the other way. Laying it up no. Tip in no. Tip again by Landaway. Good. How in the world? Courtney missed. Now they throw it down for an alley oop no. Give it back out to Rio. Rio faking. And a whistle and a foul. That's going to be on Lillard. Foul is on Lillard. That's his first. And coming in for Swick is going to be Pat Evans. Coming out will be Jack Marinko. And the ball is just getting sped up once again around here. And that's kind of been their downfall in this game so far. Kenny will inbound for the Volunteers. Throws it inside. And Dre Boyd puts it up and in. Boyd loves to get in there and get contact. Logan with a four-point lead as they try to pull away from this tenacious Swick team. Out front, Landaway. Goes at a high post. Catching there is Courtney. They go to Lillard. Lillard guarded by Connor. Flip the ball up on the top to Evans. Evans on the left wing stop. On the top, Lillard. Shot clock at six. Johnson with it out on the right side. Four, three. I don't think they know. Now Johnson will pull up and fire. No good. Ball tipped. And Boyd fighting for it. It's knocked out of bounds off Boyd's hand. Switch ball underneath. And they get a fresh shot clock. That's one thing they're applauding Logan as they come up on the defense. But the thing that gets you there is they went through that whole sequence. Yeah. They stopped him. But then Dre Boyd couldn't control the rebound. Knocked off Boyd. It'll be switch ball when we come back. But Logan has fashioned out of steel almost a four-point lead. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing how they've done it, but uh, they've found a way. They just got to keep it going for another 14 minutes. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Logan leads 44 to 40. For over 35 years, Mackey's Pizza has served Southern Illinois. Now we invite you to the new Mackey's of Marion. Same amazing food, gorgeous new surroundings, 
Mondays are family night at Mackey's of Marion. Get a one topping 16 inch pizza, combination salad for four, and a pitcher of soda for only $17. For lunch, for dinner, for more than just a meal, it's Mackey's Pizza. Here, uh, Johnny Logan leading by four. Matt's been uh, trolling social media and he's found a nugget for Cardinal baseball fans. Yeah, Yadier Molina gonna be coming back on a one-year deal to St. Louis. And the fans in St. Louis are real happy about that. That doesn't really shock anybody here on so. Media Row. No. He just got done playing in a uh, tournament, I think, in Puerto yeah. Rico. Yeah, maybe with the Puerto Rico League. Did pretty well. Unless his agent was just sending over just the highlights. <laughs> uh, he might have been. <laughs> Whatever it takes to get the contract. Swick will inbound, and it's Landaway looking and throws down low. Out high now, it goes to Evans, and they swing it back on the left side, in and out. Tough miss there by Luke Davis. Logan comes down with the ball, and Boyd throws it to Alfred. Back out to Boyd. On the right side, it goes to Watkins. Back out to Boyd. Run Connor up in the middle here. Now they bring Curry up, go inside to Watkins. He's going to go inside, no, rebound Curry. Curry's going to go back up in a crowd. They take the ball away from him. Curry holding his hands out saying, what do I got to do to get a foul here, fellas? Uh, when you're the charging bull, a lot of times they don't give you much sympathy. Yeah, the China shop doesn't like the bull too much. But it's loading the ball out of bounds. Alfred will throw it in and tosses it out high to Watkins. Watkins back to Alfred. Alfred lobs them into Curry, double team. Curry going to go up, no, and they're going to call a foul as Curry tried to get the shot up. They call the foul on Tyler Landaway. I give Landaway credit for just going up and trying to stop Curry. <laughs> yeah, that's a 5'8 guy going up against Curry and uh, is what, maybe 200 pounds so away, yeah. you know. <laughs> but it's a very good play because Curry struggles mightily from the line. 50% on last Wednesday. He was proud he, of that. Yeah, he was happy about that. He missed that free throw. Sort of like a brick hitting a plate glass. He tries again with the left hand, and uh, that one bounces up and straight down. He's got five, and Logan leads by five. And here comes Landaway. Landaway over the timeline, guarded by Isaiah Irvin, who's come into the game. Landaway tries to go left side on the top it goes. Diving inside with it, down the hoop. He leaves it for Evans, inside miss. Rebound Curry, taken away, and a foul, and I think that's on Curry. Yep. And the official making the call, and Kyle smith Peter said, how could that happen? He had the ball, it's gotta at least be a jump. Yeah. <laughs> the official called it on Curry. That's his second personal foul. Marion Sharp coming in, Sidney Curry going out. Landaway trying to throw an inbounds for Swick and Watt. Something happened in that line up the lane. They call the foul on Dre Boyd. It's just his first personal foul of the day. Boyd loved that contact, but he stepped in front of somebody there. They tried to inbound it again, and Landaway in trouble. Finds Johnson. Johnson in the right corner, moving against Alfred. Throws the basketball to Courtney. Courtney lost it, got it back. Courtney moves into the lane, throws it in the, almost out of bounds. Saved there by Davis. Davis inside, put a shot up. No, yep, it's good. And Sharp fouled him. Sharp left his feet. And the Logan bench is hopping mad about that. Yeah, he was going for that block, but then uh, Davis just waited an extra second. He knew it was coming, and so. Yep. Just did the little reverse. Gave yep. him a head for eight. Ryan went flying in the air. So with this, Swick could pull it within two, but he missed it. Sharp to rebound. Out the pass to Alfred. Alfred on the left wing, down the corner. Isaiah Irvin tried to get him open for a few shots. Alfred's going to fake. Go in the corner to Boyd. Boyd penetrates, stops, give to Watkins. There's Irvin, open for a three. Got it. Oh, in and out. But there's Sharp to put it back up and in. Nice follow by Sharp that with a was. soft little jelly pop up there. I think almost everybody thought that three was good to go. And yeah, rimmed it out on the lip. 47-42, Logan and driving in, Landaway puts a wild shot up over a lunging. Jamarion Sharp, no good, and the rebound, Irvin off to Boyd. Boyd gives it back out to Irvin. Irvin sets and shoots the three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Evans. Here comes Landaway. 
47-42, Logan by five. Landaway on the left side, and Alfred playing the passing lane, almost got a steal, but knocked it out of bounds. Here comes Jack Marinko, their point guard, and Landaway will sit down. They trade one in for 11, 11 in for one. <laughs> Never once in a while you'll see two come in for one of them. Yep. But it's mostly 11 and one out there. But he hasn't been in, uh, we're talking about uh, Halen Dalton, he hasn't yeah. been in so far in the second. He has not. Marinko throws on the right side. That is Walter Johnson, going to go baseline. Cam Alfred stops Walter Johnson, it's a turnaway. Wow, Johnson fading away, he now has 10. And that was with the hand from Cam Alfred right in his face, yep. that's amazing, dead eye. 47-44 is the score, Logan has the lead and the ball. Irvin and Boyd playing catch, Swick back back in that zone, and throw it inside to Sharp, that's a mistake. And uh, Watkins tried to save it, and the Logan coaching staff upset with Alfred's pass, and he's scrunched his face up. They're saying, hey, the guy's 7'3". Don't throw it his waist. Yeah. yeah. It's and not Alfred, that hard to miss. Alfred saying it wasn't my fault. Logan back on defense, leading by three. Basketball, Marinko to Johnson. Johnson around a pick, a double team. Get it off to Marinko. Marinko moves on the right side. Kicks it on the left side, driving inside Courtney. Blocked out of there by Sharp, but grabbed by Evans. Inside, pump fake, kick it in the corner. Walter Johnson catching, shooting, off balance, no. Rebound, pulled down by Davis. Davis don't turn around, put up a shot, no. Boyd goes up high to grab this one. Boyd brings it up himself in transition. Boyd, top of the key, and then backs out. 47-44, Logan has the lead. Boyd goes on the left wing. Spins, throws it back outside to Alfred. Alfred penetrates, kicks it back to Dre Boyd. He's bottled up in the corner to Alfred. He can't get a shot off, and there's a foul. That foul is on Pat Evans. Think bad about that, man? The shot clock was down to eight. Yeah, well, actually nine. Yeah. Now Walter Johnson saying, hey, how about me coming? How about me? Somebody send somebody in for me. And they said, no, you're in there. There he comes. Yeah. Now they're asking Johnson, why you want to come out? <laughs> well, there is Dalen Dalton back in on their little point guard. He's on the floor with Marinko, so they are very small now. They are, yeah. Irvin with it, off to Alfred. Back to Irvin. The right corner goes the ball, launching a three. Got it. Xavier Ball rattles one around. His first field goal of the night. Logan up six. That's a good sign. Dalton with it. Bounce pass inside. Oh, they beat. Oh, and Sharp blocks the shot. They beat the ball. But they're going to come up with it. Now, wait a minute. It was kicked by who? Alfred? He's going to be Swick's ball. And that was another big play by Sharp. On the yeah. Inside. Yeah. When you have a rim protector like that. Sharp, Sharp is doing everything he can on the defensive side, but then a block, a rebound, and yeah. something goes Aaron, and it gets back in loose hands. So they get uh, the ball, Swick does with 18 on the shot clock. Logan feeling like they're just about to deliver a knockout punch here. Smith Peters going up and down the bench saying, hey, come on, we're, we're this close. Dalton hooks it in the corner. Marinko outside, driving is Davis in the lane, blocked by Sharp. Here come the balls, three on one, driving inside Alfred, bump, scores, and he's fouled. That's what Cam likes to do. Yeah. Well, and, and you mentioned Coach saying, hey, we're, we're almost there. The knockout punch yeah. is coming. Well, six points was a nice amount of breathing room that they didn't have at all in the first half. And now here we are, and it's almost a 10-point lead as we're getting ready to go to the foul line. Now, timeout first as the foul was called on Dalen Dalton. And uh, 9.47 to go, 52-44 Logan. They're shooting free throws when we come back in 30. Matt Varney back here at John A. Logan courtside. Logan has gotten their lead up to eight. Chance to push it to nine with Cam Alfred at the free throw line. 
Alfred has been a big uh, scorer tonight. He's got to 12, leading Logan in scoring. Alfred at the free throw line to our right, pushes it up and got it. 13 for Cam. And Logan has a nine point lead. Let's see if that's enough to make Southwest crack. Dalton over the timeline. Dalton to the left. Dalton hands off to Marinko. Marinko, calling for help already. Gives it outside and a long three. Knocked down by Lillard. They backed off and Lillard made him pay. 53-47 just like that. Xavier Ball has the ball right in front of the Logan bench. Ball in the lane, throw it up and it's Jammed down home by Jamarion Sharp. Pretty good pass, huh? Yeah, real nice pass. It's 55-47. Logan regains some control of that alley-oop. Dalton on the right side, fakes right, left, bounces it to Lillard. Lillard back to Dalton on the right side. Dalton around a pick. Dalton hooks it. And that's Evans faking, driving inside. Shot blocked. Evans goes down in a heap. And Logan saves the ball. Rio ran it down in the corner, off the ball. Ball oh, started up cork one, didn't he? And <laughs> I was just like, oh my God. 55-47. Logan has the lead and the ball. Top of the key, McKinney gives to Alfred. Alfred motors into the free throw line, leans in, put it up, and no. Rebound Sharp. Sharp's going to turn, lose the ball. Diving for it is Alfred on top of Dalton. Swick. Gets the ball back. Here comes Dalton. Bounce pass on the right side. Bledsoe. They've kept him in check. Now it's Evans. Back to Bledsoe. Bledsoe's going to just fire from there. Oh, <laughs> right in the face of Irvin. Well, that's his specialty. He's willing to do whatever it takes and to get that three point shot. Came in averaging three points a game. Ball in the corner to Alfred. Alfred kicks it outside. Rio not taking any long shots tonight. Rio says, no thanks. He'll give it back to Alfred. 14 on the shot clock. Logan leads by five. Ball has it on the top. He'll fire. Step back. There it is. Long bomb, no. Rebound tip. Comes away to Bledsoe. Logan bench upset with ball on that shot. Top to keep Dalton. Goes on the left wing. Gets it back. Dalen Dalton. And a timeout called by Swick. They feel like this is a key point in the ballgame, Matt. Yeah, 7.33 to go. They're down five with the ball. And uh, they call time to set up a play. You know, they are still in it. They are still in it. You know, it still feels kind of like that nine-point lead, but uh, there was a nine-point lead, and now it's been diminished to five. Uh, Logan's still got that energy, but at the same time, you figure some things out on the Swick side, and all of a sudden, it's back to Swick. They've gone to immediate timeout. We'll pause for a minute. Logan up five, 7.33 left. I'd like to buy the family's gas on two. Okay. I'd like to pay for this family's bill. Okay. We're so blessed in this country. I would encourage all of you to pay it forward and let that random act of kindness define us as a nation. Farmer State Bank, no one serves you better. Small business is the backbone to our community. It's good for me. Back here at Logan, and uh, Logan with the five-point lead after the swift timeout. They get to Bledsoe. Bledsoe trying to get free. Can't. Goes to Walter Johnson. He goes up and puts a wild shot up. No, and a charge on Johnson. They said he was using his forearm to push off. Johnson jumping up and down as he goes to the other end of the floor, and Logan gets a stop. Boy, Johnson's hot. Five-point lead for Logan. 7-12 to go. This is where the good teams pull away. McKinney over the timeline. McKinney goes on the left sideline. Lobs inside, caught down low. Back outside Boyd. Back to McKinney. Back out to Boyd. 12 on the shot clock. They want to clear that side out. Boyd gives to McKinney. McKinney's going to step back. Now drive, double team. Doesn't have a shot. Top of the key, it's Watkins trying to shoot. They steal the ball. They're going to have a run out unless Watkins, ooh. 
He's not going to stop that. Lillard stuffed it through. But now Logan's lead is cut to three, and that was not a good offensive possession the last time. Ball out front, gives it to McKinney. McKinney throws it to Boyd. Lob into Curry. Curry going to turn inside. They steal the ball, but it goes right back out to Boyd. He's going to drive inside, stop, hook the ball outside. Watkins for a three. No good. Rebound, Curry. And a whistle and a foul, I think, on Boyd. Nope, Curry. Curry can't believe it either. I said he pushed off. And another escape by Swick. Kyle Smith-Peters wanting to know what's going on, and that's the third foul on Curry, so they get sharp in there. That's what they wanted to make sure. They wanted to get uh, Curry off the floor and not get that fourth foul. 6.18 left. And we've got immediate timeout, 6.18 to go, 55-52. Logan, switch the ball when we come back in a minute. That one loan to small business benefits everyone in the community, not just that business. It's the people at People's National Bank that are making a difference in the lives of Southern Illinois. People's National Bank is a locally owned community bank that provides quality services for the people that work and live in Southern Illinois. People's National Bank. Since 1909, our focus continues on you, our customers. Jim Hayes Incorporated was started over 42 years ago with three people and a vision. Now, with almost 50 employees, a state-of-the-art service department, and highly trained sales staff, it's become a place that's known for taking care of its customers and giving back to the community. Jim Hayes set a standard with words like honesty, integrity, and value. And though he's no longer with us, we have a group of long-term employees committed to keeping the standard we know and trust and to proudly carry on the legacy that Jim Hayes built. Logan Fitness. John Clancy, the assistant coach, used to be with the Slukies, trying to get them fired up as they come out of the huddle. And they'll send out Xavier Ball, Jamarion Sharp, Rio McKinney, Cam Alford, and Dre Boy. Six, uh, excuse me, yeah, 6.18 left to go in the game. It's a 55-52 lead for the balls, but Swick has the ball length of the floor to go. Pressure, you bet. They'll have Dalton throw it in. He'll find Johnson, and then they'll give it right back to Dalton. Probably, no, Johnson says I'll do it. Johnson wants to get back on that charge they called on him a minute ago. Johnson's going to fake drive right inside, throw up a teardrop. No, and Boyd grabs the miss shot. Logan has it after the stop. Off to Alfred. Alfred racing in the... Free throw line, turns, throws it back out to Dre Boyd. Boyd hands off to McKinney. They give to Boyd out on the top. Sharp pops out to handle the ball. Now it's Boyd. Boyd, top of the key, turn, gives it back to McKinney. Back on the top, he goes Boyd. Right side, Alfred. In the lane, Alfred. Alfred double team. Back to Boyd. Ball on the shot. It's McKinney. Going to have to shoot it quick. He pulls up and fires. Nope. Ball tipped in the air. Grabbed by Ball, but a push off by Ball. Logan didn't get the shot they wanted there. At this point in the game, you can't be making fouls like that. You gotta find ways to make sure that you don't make dumb mistakes. Fourth foul by Xavier Ball. He stays in the game for now. Five and a half to go. Jackson Connor gets up. I think he'll come in. The basketball, Lillard, backdoor cut. Alfred steals the ball, throws it ahead to McKinney. McKinney will lay it in. Seven points for McKinney. Logan goes back up 57-52. And just like that, Dalen Dalton already at the other end for Swick trying to create. Dalton between the legs. Dalton crossover. Stops, throws the ball, and a shot blocked. <laughs> as Evans got it from outside, and Sharp just got a piece up. Now they alley-oop to Sharp, and he can't make connections. It goes out of bounds. Up oh, real No, he didn't. Thought Rio was going to save it. And it's going to be Swick's ball. As they tried to throw the alley-oop to Sharp. And they missed connections. And it'll be Swick's ball. They bring out Luke Davis. They put in Noah Courtney. Here comes Dalen Dalton. Guarded by McKinney. 4.47 to go. Dalton throws the ball to Lillard. Top of the oh, Sharp blocks it into the backboard. Oh my lord. Over the timeline, Dalton. That's got to be demoralizing. The guy's it trying to shoot to be, a yeah. 22-footer, and it's knocked in the backcourt. There's Johnson, pull up. Oh, Dre Boyd blocks that shot. 
Johnson gonna motor in again, force it up again. And a wild shot to Jackson Connor rebound. Off to Alford. Alford over the timeline. And a timeout called as Logan wants to set it up. 57-52, Logan with 4.19 to go. And the balls call timeout as the uh, volunteers try to, again, stretch this lead a little bit. It's only five. Yeah, they're trying to stretch it out a little bit more, try to pull away. But uh, Switch just hanging around because I think they have that thought process from the first half of, hey, we can hang with these yeah. guys. And Ellen, so they're they, hanging around. They might uh, think they could shoot it. But every time yeah. they try to put one up, Sharp, who has at least six blocks. Yeah, at least, yeah. at least. And uh, that last one was marvelous. I mean, the guy pulled up to shoot one behind the three-point line. Sharp batted it into the backcourt. Now, if you've got somebody peeling out there to go after that, you, know, you could have some of the other. And that's the that's what they said Bill Russell used to do. He'd get a lot of blocked shots, but he would keep the ball in play. Yeah. Not exactly. knock it out of bounds. He'd not block it to a teammate or block it the other end of the floor. And guys would catch up to it turn that into instant offense. Well, I know that you need him down in the post, but just imagine keeping him out on the arc right there. Nobody's going to get it up. Go to Alford. Alford to Boyd. Logan's ball, 4.15 to go. They look in at Sharp. They, he's got position, but they don't give him the ball. Alford comes up on the right wing, hands it back down to Boyd. Boyd looking inside, throws to Alford. Sharp gets pushed out of the lane. Boyd has it, throws it back to Alford. Seven on the shot clock. Alford fires, no good. Rebound, comes out to Alford. Runs it down, throws it in the lane. Boyd, Boyd gonna scoop it up, no. Sharp catches and jams it down. Sharp with authority. Puts Logan up seven, 59-52. What a big offensive stick back or stick down that was. They needed it back. Seven point lead for the balls. Here comes Dalton. Rio trying to catch up. Dalton skips to a stop. Dalton rolls a pass in. That's caught there by Courtney inside. And they foul uh, by Jackson Connor. He got tied up in there with the uh, with Swick player right there. And yeah, Courtney was just trying to make something happen. And he got a whistle. First foul on Jackson Connor. Noah Courtney will shoot a couple with Logan up seven, 324 to go. First one by Courtney, hadn't been at the line tonight. Misses. Courtney, 77.8% free throw shooter. Bounce that off the heel of the rim. He's a big Isaiah, factor in the uh, first half and quiet the second half. Isaiah Urban comes in to replace Jackson Connor, 324 to go. And the next free throw by Courtney, missed it too. Ball tipped and Sharp runs it down before he falls out of bounds. Wow. Seven point lead for the Vols, 3.15 to go. They get it in the hands of Rio McKinney. He goes on the left side to Urban, hands back to Rio. Rio looking for a screen, throws it out to Boyd. Boyd back to McKinney. They're double teaming Sharp, one in front, one in back. They go to Alfred in the right corner. Alfred holding the ball, eight. Seven, Irving gonna have to create, step back, throw it up, fires, in and out rimming, no, rebound pulled down by Lillo. Seven point lead for Logan, Swick gets the ball back. The basketball is Evans, on the right side guarded by Isaiah Irvin. They go on the top to the point guard, Dalen. Dalton, and Dalton goes on the left wing, comes back to the top around a double pick. Boyd jumps out to try to help. They throw it off to Bledsoe. Bledsoe inside, almost through the legs. Uh, and now a shot banked up and in by Courtney. Courtney almost had it roll through his legs, but he grabbed it and banked it in over Sharp. It's a five-point Logan lead, 2.15 to go. Logan can't afford a misstep here. They have cut down on the turnover dramatically in the second half. Alfred holding the ball, twitching, goes to Irvin, back out to Alfred. 12 on the shot clock, 2.05 on the game clock. Alfred to Irvin. Urban going to penetrate in the lane. Got an opening, scores. His first bucket of the night. Yeah, and Dalton quickly the other way. Logan wanted a timeout, but Swick was too quick. On the top of the key, Lillard. Down inside, Courtney. Courtney turns, put it up. Good, and he's fouled by Boyd. Oh, oh. Courtney has nine. He'll go to the free throw line to look for number 10. That's on Boyd, his second. And an old-fashioned three-point play could get them. 
get them within four. About a minute 44 left. It's going to be the longest minute 44. Missed the free throw. Game. Sharp had it, but it was knocked away, but it went to Rio. 61 56. Logan with the ball. And a timeout called as the volunteers get it over the timeline and call time. Minute 32 to go. Logan leads it by five, and we'll be back in one minute. Johnny Logan College is open and operating safely for your health. Temperature screening, mask policies, spacious facilities, and frequent cleaning make Logan Fitness the safest location for indoor exercise. Our staff goes the extra mile to ensure that the facility is always clean and regularly disinfected for a great member experience. In addition, our large open areas make it easy to accomplish your workout while still maintaining social distance. All for an affordable price with no contracts. Come see what we're all about at Logan Fitness. For over 35 years, Mackey's Pizza has served Southern Illinois. Now we invite you to the new Mackey's of Marion. Same amazing food, gorgeous new surroundings. Mondays are family night at Mackey's of Marion. Get a one topping 16 inch pizza, combination salad for four, and a pitcher of soda for only $17. For lunch, for dinner, for more than just a meal, it's Mackey's Pizza. Mike Murphy, Matt Varney back here at Carterville. Logan leading 61-56 with 92 seconds left. And it's going to be Logan's ball. They called the timeout. Let's see what they draw up in the huddle. It's going to be an important play, Mike, is whatever they drew up, they got to hit on because if they don't, 90 seconds is enough time for Swift to catch up. And we haven't seen any long threes in a while. Lillard hit the last one. Bledsoe hit one early in the second half. Inbound pass to Alford. Alford throws the ball off to Rio, back to Alford. They're playing catch over the top. Running some clock, it looks like, as they stay back in that zone. Alford and Rio playing catch, seven, six. Alford's gonna go free the line, go to Irvin, pull back, shoots, and in and out, no. Rebound pulled down by Swick. Minute 10 to go, Irvin almost picked uh, the pocket of Dil Dylan Dalton. Now Irvin's gonna be called for the foul over the back. Ran up his back. And you see that so often yeah. when guys who make a, oh, they got blood? I think they're saying Jamarion Sharp bleeding from the lip. Oh, he's gonna go back in at least. Yeah. Okay. I think they had a piece of a band-aid or some tape out there. They wanted that picked up. So Dalton is going to be at the free throw line. Dalen, Dalton, no free throws tonight, no points tonight. Free throw good. Pressure, stepped up there and knocked it down. 61-57. Logan with 106 to go. Makes this, it'll get interesting. Next one, good. Dalton hit them both. They'll press. McKinney in the backcourt in a double team. Throws the ball to Irvin. Irvin throws it to Alford. Alford lobs it up to Sharp for the jammer and a foul. Boy, they almost decapitated Sharp. He was up so high. And uh, the big guy, Courtney, almost just pushed him right through the rim up there. Well, and that's exactly what they needed after those two free throws on the other end. You needed to find a way to energize the team and also just to get those points back. They did both in about five seconds with the time. Foul was on Noah Courtney, his third. Sharp at the free throw line tonight. Two of two. Austin Yates coming in for the balls. They take Irvin out, they take Alfred out. Free throw by Sharp is good. 13 for Jamarion Sharp. Pass comes in to Dalton. Dalton up over the timeline. Yates trying to hold him back. 50 seconds to go. Logan up 64, 58. Dalton looking for a place to throw it. He gets it down inside, driving inside, putting the shot up, falling down was Evans, trying to draw contact. He's got nine, they did not call the contact. They, Swick Bench wanted a foul on Sharp. Rio dribbling in and out of traffic, gets it off to Boyd. 
28 seconds, 17 on the shot clock. And Logan's got him spread out as Rio dribbling the ball and backs out. 10 on the shot clock, and they finally come out and foul. That's uh, Von Lillard picking up his second. They're going to send McKinney to the free throw line, where he is one of three tonight. Left-hander, 71% free throw shooter. You'd think he'd probably be better than that. You'd think. We'll see if he is tonight. And now, Sharp coming over and spitting into a waist can. I think he's got a cut lip. Kenny makes the first one. They're trying to keep Sharp in there as much as they can, but you know, he's, got a, he's got a bloody lip on the inside of his mouth. Came over and rinsed out with water and then spit it into the trash can. <laughs> Just like a boxer. Next one by McKinney, short. Rebound Lillard. Logan with a five point lead, 16 seconds left. Dalton over the timeline, throws it down inside. Shot blocked by Sharp. And now, Courtney will just drape himself over. Dre Boy. Boy, one more block on the night for Jamarion Sharp. He's been something he's have, else. He's gotta be close to 10. Yeah, he's got, he's got at least eight, I think. Yeah, and he had 10 last week also in one game. And he's playing with a bloody inside of his mouth. Yeah. We can verify that. We saw him spit in that waist yeah, can. Yeah, we did. Dre Boyd's free throw. That's good. Boyd now has seven on the night. Logan's ahead by six. Logan's ahead by six. Free throw. Good. Boyd hits two free throws, Logan by seven with eight seconds to go. This one's in the book. Boyd down the corner to Lillard for a three. He swishes and timeout. Not in the book yet. <laughs> Apparently not. No. Yeah, three seconds, 3.8 seconds. And it's 67-63. Logan, a full timeout called. So Logan will sub in as they let Lillard get loose in the corner. And he burns him with his second three of the night. So Logan now will have to inbound the ball. Uh, it is 67-63, and uh, volunteers are going to have to figure this out as uh, Logan's going to have to get the ball down the floor. Now, yeah. if you're Swick, you want to steal the inbound. Right. Exactly. If you don't, you want to foul. Uh, 3.8 seconds, that's almost four. Yeah. So, you know, they're, they're playing right now for either the five-second violation, throwing the ball in, yeah. or to get the steal. Yeah. If, if they get it into one of their players, I think it's over at that point. But if you can go ahead and get a turnover anyway, anyhow, you're still in this one. So Swick, uh, they're going to get a chance. Here. And Swick, who came in here only 2-2, two and 0-1 two, oh in the league, yeah. got to feel pretty good. Well, there's some blood on the back of Brian Shorts. There it is, yeah. Yeah, he's got blood all over the front of him. He's not going to be able to go back down with no. blood on him. They're sending Watkins in. Yeah, Sharp bleeding all over himself. Pretty small lineup out there for Logan here with the final four seconds. Yeah, it's like an onside kick. <laughs> Dre, Bly, Dre Boyd's going to fake the long one, get it in, and they foul Irving immediately. Oh, not immediately, really. Went down to two seconds. And they used him about half the time. Foul was called on Sam Bledsoe. His first personal foul will walk down the other end, and Irving will be at the line to shoot. So Irvin with only two points though. Chance to add to that here. Two free throws. Ten fouls plus on Swick, so two shots coming from Urban. First one is no good. It's amazing how these guys that have that touch yeah. sometimes get to that line and throw bricks. Two seconds left in the game. Urban's second one is good. Three points for Isaiah. The pass comes in, a long push shot, no good. Logan wins it by a final score of 68 to 63. Logan goes to five and one, three and zero oh in the league, and heading to Vincennes on Wednesday. Vincennes, number eight in the nation. Logan just climbed a spot to number six, and that is the way this one ends. And we'll come back to run down the scoring. We'll talk with Coach Smith Peters and more when we return. Logan wins it. They've won three in a row. Logan goes to Vincennes on Wednesday night back in 90 seconds. <laughs> 
Open Fitness at Johnny Logan College is open and operating safely for your health. Temperature screening, mask policies, spacious facilities, and frequent cleaning make Logan Fitness the safest location for indoor exercise. Our staff goes the extra mile to ensure that the facility is always clean and regularly disinfected for a great member experience. In addition, our large open areas make it easy to accomplish your workout while still maintaining social distance. All for an affordable price with no contracts. Come see what we're all about at Logan Fitness. For over 35 years, Mackey's Pizza has served Southern Illinois. Now we invite you to the new Mackey's of Marion. Same amazing food, gorgeous new surroundings. Mondays are family night at Mackey's of Marion. Get a one topping 16 inch pizza, combination salad for four, and a pitcher of soda for only $17. For lunch, for dinner, for more than just a meal. It's Mackey's Pizza. I'd like to buy the family's gas one too. win their third game in a row. They beat Swick 68-63. Um, it was uh, a very, very tight, close first half. Mm -hmm. And that enabled Swick to come out with, uh, as we said, a little bit of a hop in their step yeah. uh, for the second half. And Logan had uh, trouble subduing them or bending them to their will, as the coaches like to say. And Logan got the win. But, you know, if you're, if you're Swick going off the floor here, you got to feel pretty charged up the way your team battled the yeah. sixth-ranked team in the nation. Yeah, only two and three, and zero and two in conference play. But you just held the uh, number six team to a five-point deficit, or rather, a five-point win against you. You got to feel good about yourself going to the rest. Twenty points under their scoring average. Yeah, yeah. It just it was an uncharacteristic night for Logan, and so a lot to feel good for for Swick here tonight. Uh, Logan, you got to go back to the drawing board because you got a big challenge Wednesday good. night. Had been sins, and they, they won't play around. No. No. And, and, and you don't think that they've talked about losing that game in the district finals at Ren Lake last year? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, uh, so, and we don't know the extent. We don't think it's very. Uh, it's a major injury, but Jamarion Sharp uh, had a uh, had a big uh, cut on the inside of his mouth, yeah. and by the end of the, they kept him in there, and kept you know, trying to rinse it, and they put a towel in there. But by the end of the uh, night he had blood just spattered all over his jersey yeah. front and back and they kept him out of there let's run down the scoring mario mckinney had eight points three for dawson yates 13 for cam alford he had 10 of those in the first half 13 for jamarion sharp uh, he had only four at halftime isaiah Irwin had three uh, sydney curry had five dre boyd had eight four for xavier ball eight points for doug watkins he had six of those eight in the first half uh, three for Jackson Connor. Tion Nesbitt started but didn't score. And Logan was 16 out of 25 from the free throw line. They win it 68-63. Swick, uh, 7 of 12 from the line. They only got to the line 12 times. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack Marinko didn't score. They held him down. He was averaging 11 points a game. Yeah, he was a big part. Noah Courtney had 9. Uh, Von Lillard, 13. Um, Walter Johnson, 10. Adonis Humphrey, 4. Dalen Dalton, two, uh, nine for Pat Evans, seven in the first half. Luke Davis had two, 12 for Sam Bledsoe, but he had three threes in the first half, only one three in the second half. So they were, he came in averaging 3.5 points a game. And Tyler Landaway had two. Uh, so uh, Brathwaite played, Luke Cox played, but didn't score. Marinko didn't score. And uh, so Swick, uh, what was, yeah, 32-32 tie at the half. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Logan wins it 68-63. to 63. And I'm going to go back. I wish we had, you know, one of those things we could play it back. But remember mm -hmm. what I said the final score was going to be? 68-64. Yeah, did yeah. I say four? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I I could see it ending that way. And it, this was a tough battle. It was. Uh, you know, Logan got, what, a nine-point lead, I think, was their biggest. They never yes. got a double-digit lead. And Swick just kept coming back, coming back, coming back. And really, uh, when you look at it, you know, Swick, 
doesn't have the dynamic guards. I mean, doesn't yeah. have the big scoring yeah. guards. Uh, and they're hardworking kids, and they just try to get the ball and move it up the floor and distribute. But they've got some big pieces inside. Lillard had 13. Johnson was a was a contributing force. Uh, he had 10. Uh, and Bledsoe you know, gave him those four threes off the bench. That was huge. Yeah. But Logan held on, won the ball game 68-63. We're going to have uh, Coach Smith-Peters coming out in just a minute as the Volunteers have won three in a row. The Volunteers held 20 points under their average. They average 88 a game. They got 68 here against a tenacious Swick team that played that zone almost to perfection. Almost, yeah. I mean, it was, and, and it was multiple different kinds of zones, just mixing and matching, trying to see what would work best each time out and confusing the Vols every time that they went down because they weren't sure what they were going to get. Yep. And the Volunteers, who, again, had – a dominant presence with Jamarion Sharp um, might have had close to a triple-double tonight because yeah. he had uh, 13 points. Uh, we think he had about uh, 11 rebounds. And we, I, if, if somebody pressed me, I'd say eight block shots, but he could have had a couple more. Here comes Coach Smith-Peters out right now, and we will uh, wait for the Logan coach to come over and share his thoughts on the uh, ball game as the Volunteers have now won three in a row. Uh, Logan four, or excuse me, five and one, and three and oh in conference play. And Kyle Smith-Peters is with us. Coach, it uh, tied at the half. You were held 20 points under your average, but this was a typical Grack game with Swick, wasn't it? It was, and you know, like I told him, I said I was happy with the 62, considering they had about 40 at half. Um, did a better job defensively, offensively, just careless with the ball. Didn't value the basketball. and. Um, but did a better job in the second half. We did, yeah. You know, we had some good moments yeah. where you get up 8-9 and you can allow some mistakes right. to happen. And, you know, like I said, we're still a new ball team, still figuring out. And we're granted, hope, you know, it's much better to learn lessons when you win yeah. than yeah. when yeah. you lose. So <laughs> right. um, maybe also looking a little further ahead down the road this week. I wondered about that. I, You know, I said at the beginning of the pre, I said, you know, do you think? And I said, that's the good thing about having some of these young guys. Yeah. Uh, you know, Rio, well, Rio was with you last year. But uh, Cam doesn't know about it, and and uh, but you know most of the others do, and uh, you know I mean I dare say Vincennes hasn't forgotten what happened last year. No, not at all. And you know it's it's one of those things too where you know these guys I, I think understand. And tonight was a, once again a very good learning experience for them. That no matter who you play, they want to beat you really bad. Yeah. They really this is a feather in their cap. They could win. Sure. They could go one and twenty one this year, and if they beat Vin, they, they beat us, it's it's one of those right. things that it mm -hmm. makes the season. Um, and hopefully we're starting to figure that out because, like I told him, I said nothing against Swick or anybody else, but, I mean, guys, as talented as we are, as good as we are, and we're improving, we're getting some things done, but if this team can bring it and compete, then there's not many teams that can't come yeah. in here and compete. And yeah. really the comparison we made, this is, you know, to me, three rivers all over again. Mm -hmm. And like I told them, well, how did we respond against Mineral? You know, we turn around the same amount of time, play probably a better team on the road now. How can we respond? with having one of these, as we would say, a coin flip type game where yeah. we sneak out with a win. You know, Coach, Sydney seems to be kind of just struggling a little bit. Obviously, he was out for uh, a good time and still trying to get kind of back into the flow of things. But, uh, you know, what more do you need from him as he's coming off the bench right now? Yeah, no, and, and granted, he'll be back in the line. It's one of those things where um, him just being gone or, or, or away with practice, you know, nursing that ankle, and um, you don't want to put a person in a situation of more pressure. I mean, at the end of the day, there's – you know, two names you can guarantee at the top of every scouting report yeah. list, and that's Sidney Curry and Mario McKinnon. And they were collapsing on Sydney the whole time. His best offense was going to be going to get an offensive rebound right. and finishing at the rim. They were not going to allow him to have easy baskets. Yeah. And it gets frustrating. And he's getting fouled every play. The referee yeah. can't call it every play. I mean, he gets beat up every game, and yeah. he handles it. Like Matt said, the China shop doesn't like the bull. No, no. no. And, and granted, it's just one of those things where that's what we talked about our other guys. Like, you have to alleviate some of that pressure, post-entry, cut through, you know, make those things easier for him. And – a lot of that just comes with time. I mean, when our guys learn the technique, when they learn what we're trying to do, we get a little bit more chemistry. Those things will become easier for all those guys. And, you know, we, we said it in the locker room, like, it, you, not everyone can be a superstar every night. we got a right. lot of superstars. Yeah. You know, and we can only have one or two, and that's yeah. fine. But, you know, we got to make sure that when it's not that going that way for us that we can still do those other things. And it'll, it'll all come with time. Did you have a chance, uh, because we <laughs> did not keep blocks, but <laughs> – I know that Sharp had 13 points, and I think he was pretty close to 10 rebounds. Yeah. And I had him with unofficially with about eight blocks. Yeah. 
Uh, but, I mean, when you have a rim protector like yeah. that, I mean, he a guy took a three-point shot at the top of the key. He batted it into the backcourt. Now, that's like Bill Russell stuff yeah. because he's not hitting it out of bounds. Yeah. You know, now, granted, he does hit some to his teammates sometimes, but if somebody's, you know, scooting down that other way uh, because here's a guy going up to shoot a three, yeah. he releases his hands, it's out of his hands a good four feet, and then Sydney comes and bats it into the backcourt. Well, and, and that you know, we didn't get to do as much tonight as I would like to uh, like to do we rotated a lot of bodies we tried to you know I hate to say keep minutes low but we didn't want a lot of mileage going in knowing we had our, our first real road challenge of the season yeah. on Wednesday and um you know I was really really happy with the minutes we got from Jackson Connor tonight mm-hmm. I mean you talk about yeah. a spark had some you know yeah. big shot big did rebound big shot. Yeah. Um, did some really good things defensively I just was really proud of him because you know he turned his ankle yesterday in practice and really has toughed it out but uh I mean it's, it's one of those things just on a daily basis where we're going to continually uh, I think get better at some of these areas we're struggling in. And, I mean, we've seen it at Lincoln Trail where we can take care of the ball. We saw it when we scrimmaged Moberly where we don't yeah. have a turnover for 18 minutes. We just get a little careless and, and right. like a little loose. And, you know, it, it's funny because Coach Greg talks about it and he's got some points here. It's probably difficult for these guys to make the adjustments when there's no fans. The environment's oh, yeah. much different. Yeah. This is like a rec center right now right. playing in a pickup game. Well, guess what? That's the pass you make in the rec center to pick yeah. up game. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. matter as much. Yeah. And trying to dial that all back in. Well, they have be... fans at Vincennes? Uh, that's a good question. I don't think they'll have any more than what their 50 allotment okay. would be. Okay. So okay. despite uh, despite being in the state of Indiana, I think yeah. they're uh, keeping it at 50 or below as well. Yeah. Well, and we might as well talk about it because we, we've – Alluded to the fact that it was a huge win for Logan last year uh, at Rin Lake to beat him for a trip to the Nationals, and uh, you know they had uh, beaten Logan twice, and then you got him in the in the big finale, uh, and you know I mean, who wouldn't be up for a trip to Vincennes or to play Vincennes here, even if you you know had to play in uh, hoop skirts or something, you know I mean. In yeah, a I, rec center atmosphere or not? No, I agree, and it's just it's about it's the point of being competitive. And I think tonight, once again, with our, with this group, we've done, we've seen this a couple of times where we come out here and we see our opponent. We have the as I say, we have that all airport look right. to us. Yeah. We walk yeah. through an airport, we look like a team. Yeah, um, and it's sometimes like a good team. Yeah, and sometimes people don't. And I think we're our youth can really show at yeah. times when we see that and. Our guys compete really, really hard against each other every day. Yeah. And when you come out here for that chance to let loose a little bit, and right. we, we probably judge our opponent maybe a little much. But like I said, we, we got a bunch of freshmen, sophomores out yeah. here. We don't have a lot of the 23, 24-year-old juniors and yeah. seniors to tell you this is not how this works. But, but you did clean up the turnovers some of the second We half. did. We did better. And, and I thought it was just much better just not dribbling. A lot of stuff was dribbling, aired passes. We right. moved the yeah. ball much more crisp. Played a lot better inside out, but you know we got to be able to uh, you know understand that whether you're playing Swick, that is still going to be relevant when you play Vincennes, and you got to make sure you approach each and every game pretty much the same way, right. and that's what we're hoping to see with that consistency um, as time goes on here. What did Sharp have a little cut on the inside of his mouth? Yeah, I think uh, you know eventually somebody's going to swat back at him after <laughs> you know the 87th yeah. block he had. So right. I think he caught one on the rebound. Was at the end right of the, the game, mouth. he had blood on the front, blood yeah, on the he back. Was, he, he was, was bleeding spattered. pretty bad, but you know, I mean, I I really felt. Um, I played him probably in some fatigue, as I would say, fatigue minutes a little bit longer than I'd like. Uh, but you get X in foul trouble, Sydney has yeah. some fouls, and then yeah. you got, you know, Jamar out there having to play a little tired. And he had a couple of possessions where normally he'd block that shot and he'd been out there about a minute too long. That's yeah. on me. And, you know, I couldn't really get mad at him because he's having to guard smaller guys. Right. And as most people would think, people try to go bigger against you. Well, no, they just try to go smaller and make you chase. Yeah. And, you know, our, our guys, Sydney and Jamar and X and – Doug, they've done a really, really good job of being able to stay down in front of guys, you know, through the course of the season. Well, we'll uh, talk to you, I guess, before Wednesday night. I don't know if we'll be up there. Right now we're probably looking at a remote broadcast. Yeah. But, uh, you know, jump up down there on the sidelines a little bit. Wednesday. So we'll be able to, you know, we'll, they got a lot of, they'll have a lot of room over there for us. So yeah, yeah. We won't, we won't have much problem not being able to uh, – you know, find find a way to jump around a little bit. Well, thanks for the visit. Good luck on Wednesday night. And the Vols have won three in a row and a big one on Wednesday. Thanks, guys. That is uh, Kyle Smith-Peters as the Volunteers uh, come out and win this game 68-63. The uh, Volunteers, uh, at one point, uh, this game was tied at the half, and Logan uh, was able to end up uh, getting the wins by five. Uh, it wasn't something that, again, Matt, you'll – you hang your hat on. No. Uh, but it is a win, and you learn lessons. And as, as you said, it's much easier to do it when you're winning. 
Absolutely, and you know this will play into roles later on when you're playing tougher teams like Vincennes, where it's going to be close, and you got to find ways to tough it out and and make make the plays that you need to make to get the win. So this this could play a role either way, negative or positive, this coming Wednesday. Uh, you hope to see it be a positive if it's a close game. Well, let's get out of here and uh, see how the roads are outside. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to get out to my car. Yeah, me As the, the Volunteers win it, they're now 5-1. and one. They're 3-0 and oh in the league. They win it 68-63 over Swick. Thanks uh, to Eric Joins tonight for the uh, work behind the uh, board. And we'll have a double header on Wednesday night. Now, they're Eastern Standard Time, yes. so it, the women's game will start at 4. The men's game will start at 6. And we'll broadcast both of those probably remotely. That's the plan right now. Yeah. Not sure uh, if we're going to be able to get in up there or not, but they're going to have it uh, with a stream, and we'll we'll have it for you one way or the other as the Volunteers beat Swick 68-63 and remain undefeated in conference play. For Matt Varney, have fun tonight on the on Oh, the absolutely. Yeah. Right. Looking forward to Wednesday. Yeah, that, that's going to be fun. Sure. As the uh, Volunteers beat Swick in a single game on Monday night, 